I've got all outside Got a child's mind Insecurities and a wall build up a couple miles high She knows this She obsesses Over all the words I say She don't know cause I never let show is that I miss her when she's away and I wanna kiss her face. She thinks she's in over her head. She thinks she's the only one who goes crazy. Picks up the phone when she thinks she heard it. Got those bright eyes looking through mine. Try to figure out if there's any more doubt in my mind. You can test me or confess, please. Cause I know you've been watching, waiting for me to fall. So you can catch me The one thing she don't know Who's never let the show Is that I miss Her when she's away And I wanna kiss her face She thinks she's in over her head She thinks she's the only one Who goes crazy Picks up the phone she thinks she heard it ring I in her pillow every night when she's asleep But she's not the only one when I'm with her I can't sleep, wanna know what she's dreaming Falling in love to the sound of her breathing Trying to hide but it's easy to see that But she's not the only one, she's not the only one Well, hello, chat. Um, how y'all doing? So, I've been sick for the last few days. Um, I'm still kind of sick, but, um, we're here. There's no face cam right now. I mean, I could make it be face cam, but the focus is nails right now. So, one of the creative things that I like to do is, um, nails been doing acrylic nails for years and uh, I'm in the process of going back to school for my nails but there's a new system that has come out that I'm excited about um, so 
uh, I bought it. It finally came, and we're going to work on it today. Um, it's from a company called Enail Couture. Um, I'm hoping that it can kind of be seen um, if you want to look at it on, online. Um, it is Enail Couture. Uh, C O U T U R E dot com. Um, so, uh, with their their system, uh, I bought it. I'm not. This isn't like a a um. Oh, what is it called? Uh, they're not sponsoring me. I I just I saw this product. I was really interested in it. I'm excited to use it. Um, but I also want to make sure that if anybody wants it, they can get a hold of it. Um, so, number one, my little thing, this is just the blue paper towels that you can get. They're usually used for like oil and stuff at, at like uh, um, mechanics. Um, and like I said, I am sick, so I'm trying to do the best I can talking, but I've been wanting to do my nails and I love doing my nails. Thing is, is acrylic is very stinky. Uh, in fact, uh, I used it in my old apartment when I was married. Um, and my ex-husband and I, when we were still married, we went out to town. We were actually going to a fair. We got to the fair. Uh, it was about five minutes in that we were at the fair. We were watching a truck rally and we get a call from our friend that the fire department, the police department, and some other department, uh, I wanna say like ambulance or something, were at our apartment. And that they were, they cordoned off the apartment and they weren't allowing anybody in. And it's because they thought they smelled a gas leak. It wasn't a gas leak. I had just done my acrylic nails the night before um, and so they smelled the acrylic nails and freaked out and then they went into our apartment and saw my acrylic nail stuff and it, it was a nightmare. So acrylic nails, stinky. You should do either outside or with a ventilation system or some other way um, if you're going to do them yourself. Uh, but this system doesn't stink. Pretty easy to do. You need a, a lamp which comes with the system. Um, if you get the the full kit and um there's not a lot of prep well there's a little bit of prep but there's not a lot of like extra filing that has to happen because the nails are basically all completely done um for you when you when you get the system so what we're first going to do is this came with its own files own nail files i also bought extras because like i said i also do acrylics um so the system comes with its own files this came with it and this one came with it now you probably don't need any of the extras that i have i just have them because i prefer them um these can actually go back in here uh, one thing that is always good to do with your new files, because these are brand new, this is an old one, okay? I got this from Sally's. Have you, if you've ever went to file your nails and it, um, you hurt yourself, right? You cut into yourself, you got like a paper cut. Um, one of the best things to do is take an old file and prep your, your new file. Okay, so you take your old file, one that you're just going to throw it out, basically. Um, these ones, I can run my finger across it, and I'm not going to get hurt. This one, however, I run my finger across, I'm going to get cut. So what you want to do is you want to take your old file and just prep the edge. It's an awful sound, but you want to prep your edge by just running it across. Okay, you're going to see it makes cuts on your new file, or your old file. So you're just gonna run run your file right across it, okay? Both sides and around the edge, okay? This keeps you from getting cut when you go to do your cuticle um, or around the edge of your finger, okay? So you just prep it. This doesn't ruin the file, it just makes it so you don't cut yourself. Okay, so that one's done. And these ones, 
you generally, because this is a foam one, okay, it's squishy, you don't have to prep, okay, generally. Um, and it doesn't really hold up well if you do try to prep it. I have tried to prep these before, um, but you're generally not going to cut yourself or anybody else while you're doing it using these okay um and this one is a 100 180 grit so this side here is the 180 it feels like and then this is the 100 um these this is here is a 50 50 uh, 150 150 okay um and we're going to use this one to prep our nails and i have my other ones here which if you you can get these at sally's okay so this one is again these are these are squishy that's why i like these they don't really do much with shaping they just uh when you have they're going over the top of your nails um they just make it smoother so this one is a 180 extra fine and this one is 100. the higher the number um the more coarse it is the lower the number the, the less coarse it is I probably won't be using these, um, but they're here anyway. Okay, so this file, hold on, don't need it anymore. Oh, my puppy's trying to get up on the chair, but he can't because it's, it's not uh, not ready for him. Okay, so um, what we're first going to do, okay, is actually what I'm first going to do is try to zoom in. Um, so let me just go ahead and do that. Ghost honey, you've got to stop, bud. Uh, let's see. Well, he figured out how to get up here, so I guess he's happy now. Hmm. Okay, let me see if I can just... To transform this real quick, okay? That's that's no problem. So we're gonna cut, crop the right hand side by a hundred, maybe a bit more, one fifty. Do two hundred, two fifty. There we go. Top, no bottom. Yes. Do that by one fifty. Okay, so that should zoom it in a little bit. Um, when I go to use this, I'll just move it into screen. Um, but for now, I'm going to actually uh, try to uh, trim down the side so that we can see better um, because everything is on the nails anyway. So I'll do 250 here as well. Done. And it to screen. Oof, that makes my hands look bad. You know, we'll just leave it as that for now. If anything that I do close up, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, uh, first what we're going to do, okay, is our nail, we don't need to worry about trimming the nail down. Okay. Um, however long you have your nail is fine. I know that if you go to the store, or like go somewhere to get your nails done, usually it's at a mall or one of those really, um, I'll just say it's usually at a mall um, or like the Walmart nail salons. Usually they'll cut your nails down. Um, we, you don't have to, okay? The generally you don't have to. If you have kind of a sloped nail um, or a, uh, a messed up edge kind of um for instance one of my nails i'm just trying to find it okay so for instance this nail here my my pointer finger it's very curved okay um let's see if we can see that there uh, here, i'll try to put it up against this purple okay it's a very curved nail um 
don't know why it's just kind of like that opposed to another one of my nails which the nail comes out a little bit more straight uh, this one uh, I may end up trimming just because it's dependent on how we do how much of the gel we put in for this system it, it might not really sit well um, I know that when I do acrylics and I put a tip on um, usually when the growth comes out this separates from the acrylic tip uh, just because it curves so we may end up tripping this one um, to give us a better adhesion um, but we'll see we'll, we'll double check it if not all we have to do is just cut it back or file it back um, but generally uh, you don't have to worry about trimming your nails back. If you have good growth, you don't really have to worry about it. Okay, but what we do want to do is we want to push the cuticles back, okay, so that you get enough room um, and a good way of making sure that your cuticles are back and to keep your nails nice and healthy is when you get out of the shower. Just take your nail, you know, the, the edge of your nail and just push them back. You can get a cuticle pusher, but um, generally you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to trim them. Um, there's a lot of different rules on trimming your cuticle, like clipping them. Some some salons don't like to do that. Some some nail techs don't like to do that. Um, you know, it just it, there's no reason for it, really, uh, unless you have really, really, really th like a lot of dead, uh, like cuticle skin. But, uh, you know, that's, that's usually to each their own, I guess, you know, kind of thing. Um, but you just push them back, okay? I did mine um, when I got out of the shower. I just pushed mine right on back, and we're just going to keep on going, okay? Just make sure they're all, all back. And, and what I mean by this is, if you've never done this, so you've got your cuticle right here, okay? Some people's grow out really, really far. And generally that's because they haven't pushed them back. Um, or you get some of the cuticle, the dead cuticle around the outside. So when you're in the shower, all you have to do is um, get, when you get out of the shower, your cuticle, your skin is gonna be nice and smooth, uh, or uh, nice and, and uh, pliable. Um, so you're just gonna push that back, okay? And, and that's all you need, right? So you're not gonna need to do a whole lot more about that, okay? Next, um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna use your 150, okay? Or finer, but usually 150 is good. And we wanna take the shine off of our nail, okay? Now the shine is the healthy part, you know, that's it's okay. But you want to take part of the shine off um, because otherwise nothing's gonna stick to it. This is natural oils that are on your nail. This is, this is just healthy nail growth. And filing your nails like this, is an, as long as you do it lightly and enough to just take the shine off, you're not gonna ruin your nail, okay? But if you do it too hard, you're gonna get down to the, um, the basically under the nail, and you don't wanna do that, okay? So you can, I already shaped mine. Um, I've been doing that. I've shaped the outside of my nail, okay, around the edge. And uh, a good tip for doing the edge of your nail, don't go like this when you go to file your nails, okay? One direction, okay? Figure out whichever direction that is in one direction. If you go like this, you're, gonna, you're just gonna end up damaging your nail. Um, but if you go one direction only, you're good. Get underneath it a little. If it, you've got a good edge, just get underneath it a bit one direction until you're happy and then above it one direction when you put your fake nails on you can go you know and any which way you want um, on the edge but um, pr prior to that one direction okay now to do the top 150 grit and we're just going to lightly go around okay do the cuticle okay and if you prepped it, right, you take in your old file and you prepped the outside, you should not cut yourself. So you're just going to go right up against that cuticle, clean that up, 
and then over the top, okay? And you're just trying to get the shine off of your nail. You wanna make sure every little nook and cranny is good and, and done, because if you have a spot that isn't done, isn't buffed, right? It doesn't have a little bit of edge in it. You're gonna end up with um, lifting. Okay, it's, it's one way that you end up with lifting. Okay, now, if we look at this, okay, let's, hope, let's see if this is getting nice and in there. Okay, now, this is nice and well etched. We've got right up here, I still have to file a bit more. You can see that there's like a little bit of shine. So we're gonna need to file that a little bit more right up here, okay? But down here, we got right up into that cuticle, okay? You don't wanna dig under the cuticle. You wanna just get up right to the cuticle. Now, the other thing you're gonna wanna do is push it back again, just to make sure that it's good, okay? Not too hard just push it back a little bit okay so we're gonna go ahead um, and finish up finish these up on all of them and we'll see uh, we'll, we'll do the next part which is nail prep um, and other ways to to clean the nail get it ready so for me I have really oily cuticles or, or really oily nails um, and I will I generally end up with some kind of lifting if I do acrylic. Um, one of the things that you can do is you can take a little bit of alcohol. Um, it has to not be the perfumey kind of alcohol, um, but you can take a little bit of alcohol. Um, we want, I'm going to do this one. There we go. Okay, you don't want it too smooth, um, but you do want it etched. So, uh, you know what, we're going to actually go with the 180, which I don't have a 180, so we'll, actually, we'll stick with the 150. Okay, um, we have the 180 on here, but that's not going to do what we want. Um, anyway, uh, you can take um, acetone to it as well, um, which will help dry out the nail bed. Okay, just make it, not dry it out, but like take away the oils. Um, so that, that is an option. And I know it's probably hard to see exactly what I'm doing um, because the camera isn't the greatest, but it's getting the job done. And uh, this company actually has some tutorials for their products. It's called the 123 Go system, or 12 Go, I believe. Um, maybe it's 123 Go. No, yep, one, two, three, go. And uh, you can get tips and everything else, which I'll show you the tips that we're gonna do, because I got two different types of tips, and I love my nails long, so we're gonna do some, some longer ones. Um, but you don't have to do them long. And I love these curved files. Um, cause they, they, uh, they help you follow the curve when you're filing. All right. I'm just taking off that shine, giving it a good etch to have the acrylic and every, or not the acrylic, sorry, the, the gel system to hold. So this nail um, has a little bit of a curve on it, so that's just why I'm taking this to it, because I can't seem to hit it correctly with this file. All right? So, and it's okay if you have a hard time with your right hand, 
uh, if you're right hand dominant, your, your left hand is going to be better. If you're left hand dominant, your right hand is going to be better. It's it's okay. If you're ambidextrous, that's great. Um, I know that it took me a very long time to be able to do my right hand anywhere near as well as I do my left um, because I am right hand dominant. So some of the ways that you will see me using my file or my handwork with my left hand is very different from how I use it with my right. And that's that's completely, completely normal. Now, if you are thinking about doing these for other people um, in the United States, you have to be very careful with doing that. You need to have a nail tech license. You have to be certified to be able to do other people's nails. Um, you know, painting your friend's nails, that's usually okay. But actually doing extensions, um, any type of, of nail work, you have to have a certificate uh, or a technician's um, certificate license uh, to be able to do another person's nails because there are some medical things that can happen um, like fungus uh, transference you can end up cutting somebody especially if you use an e-file um, there's a lot of different issues so doing anybody's nails when uh, in the extension category basically you can't you got to be very you have to be certified basically but if you want to do your own generally it's okay because you, you only have yourself to blame if you don't do it right okay so push back those cuticles make sure they're nice and pretty and here's another thing I actually have to take do my uh, mine but uh, it's a good thing that I have to do them so that I can show you um, I'll actually you know what I'll leave it until I get ready to to get the tips out so that I can show you why okay so now we're on to the right hand and sometimes it's difficult I haven't done my nails in quite some time so trying to do them <laughs> switched hands is a little hard. So for me, I will generally, like with my right hand, I'll just, whatever. But with my left hand, I'll usually hold what my tool still and use my right hand to <laughs> change it around uh, to make sure that I cover it all the way. sure there's no shine on it right you want it to to not shine because that means that that's an area that is still really smooth um, and the nail is not gonna stick okay so here's the nail that I was talking about earlier that has that curve to it and I think we should be okay but when we go to pick out the tip like the actual nail part um, the artificial one to put on top we will we'll have to double check that um, and I've never understood why that that nail does it it's the only one that I have that curves like that um, they are I do have crooked fingers they they kind of this one kind of both hands they they rotate in so that gets to be interesting when I go to to do my acrylics because it's very prominent when you do your acrylics or uh, when I do my acrylics um, because I I like to use forms um, instead of tips and um, when I get my form placed I place it in line with my finger and it, uh, it has that weird curve
Yeah, I don't know what sick, like, what I have. All I know is that my right tonsil is swollen and my throat is sore. Like, not sore to swallow, you know, like when you have, like, strep throat or something where it's sore to swallow. It's tender to touch. Um, so I'm hoping I don't have, like, mono or something again. I've had that twice when I was a little kid and a few years ago. And I know they call it the kissing disease because it is it can be transmitted by giving like kissing and stuff. But it also can pop up because of stress, because of amounts of stress. And uh, I think each time was mostly stress. Okay, almost done. So today I'm also I have my colors picked out. I'm so excited. That's what I was waiting for and why the stream ended up four hours later than I wanted it to be because I was waiting for my nails uh, my my uh, gel polish to get here um, and it was through UPS and UPS only just got here like 30 minutes ago I was so annoyed it's awful when you're waiting for something to come in the mail and then it doesn't show up forever because you're like oh I'm waiting on this stupid mail to get here any other day, it's, it's you, you know, the UPS, like, hits up my location at, like, 1, 2 o'clock. Nope, today it was like, haha, you want something? You're gonna wait until almost 7, which was the latest time that it was gonna get here. Okay, let me see if I can actually tilt this up a little bit. Don't think me, that's my knee. Okay, so we're getting there, we're almost done. Okay, I hate doing prep, because it takes, it's like I want to just get to the nails. My favorite part is actually the painting of it. I, I like the, uh, I like, I like doing acrylics, I really, really do. But my favorite is the painting. Now we just push back these cuticles, double check that we've, we're, we're happy with the amount of shine that we got off of the nail. Okay, push them back. Because the main reason that we push these back is so that we have enough area to put um, product on, okay? But also, it doesn't it looks better when your your cuticles are nice and clean. Okay. So there. I should have my glasses on and I don't have them on yet. Okay. Oh, I can see. Okay. So nails nice and pushed back. Um what we're going to do is just double check actually because there's a few spots that you can use the very corner of your file to get up in there, okay? Make sure that it's really, really good. Sometimes it's hard to see up in into those nooks and crannies. Um, but it looks like we're in good kip for this, okay? I'm just... I'm just doing a quick once over on the very edges of my nails because they're still a little shiny. This one actually broke yesterday, so I went to go pick up my dog and I hit the wall with the with my nail and it snapped it. I was so upset because this is the longest I've had my like natural nails in a long time. Um, usually they break, but I don't know. Maybe I'm eating better. So there we go, okay? No shine. If you compare it to where it, what it looked like earlier, it's very shiny, um, but there's no shine now. Okay. Ow, puppy. Okay. He's like right underneath my table. Okay. Now, what we can do here, or what we would do, is you don't wanna go and wash your hands. You don't wanna put soap on. Um, you can use water, but you don't want to use soap. Uh, the soap will um, 
will end up making it so the product doesn't really stick very well. Now, gotta, I'm gonna use uh, one of these, okay, just a little face thingy, and just make sure that the dust is off, because that also causes issues. Usually I, there's a brush that you can use, but I'm just, I'm just taking it, you know, this little face thingy and making sure the dust is off. This. this over. Okay, so before we get too far, these are the nails. They gave uh, it came. The system came with uh, a holder. Okay. Now, um, let me grab one of the long, larger nails because it'll be easier to see. Okay, so these are the, the nails that it comes with. Hopefully you can kind of see them. I should have painted one for the stream. Um, but it's a, it's a full coverage nail, but it already has most of the arch support already in. This is a coffin, and these systems are made to where you don't have to do any type of anything with this, okay? Um, and I'll show you exactly how we're going to put it together and how it goes on. Um, but one of the things that you have to check for when you go to do your nails is we're going to have to find which ones of these fit our nails properly. Okay. Now, one thing that you want to do is that when you put it on to your nail, um, let's see, I'll actually take this down to, to try to show you better. that's a good spot for it okay um, I want to show the nail stuff not to me okay that's about as close as I'm gonna be able to get okay so you see my nail yeah okay and this is a size zero usually I don't I don't work use these like usually size zero doesn't fit but what we're gonna do is you want to make sure that this fits your nails properly so we're sizing these up okay when you go to size these up you want to get them down to to about the edge of the cuticle you're gonna give it a little room when we go to file you're gonna double check all the way around okay by pulling the edge of your your uh, skin away from the nail make sure that this fits it well okay um, on each side so we go ahead and we're gonna push it down on here okay and we also have to remember there's going to be some product under here so you don't want to do it too uh too it's not that you don't want it too tight because you do want product under there but you just want to make sure that it fits your nail properly okay so it's this one actually fits pretty well which is surprising because i've never been a zero before but in these i seem to be um so we'll also check a one Okay, and if you want to double check your numbers, they're right at the very, very tip of the of these nails. I know it's kind of hard to see. Okay, so this one, this one actually fits pretty well too. Okay, because you can see if you look at the edges, we don't have any any nail coming out. Um, let me see if I can set this for auto. Uh, it should be on um, auto uh, focus, but it doesn't seem to be, so let me just double check that. Um, oh, my bad. Uh, properties. So I hope that, yeah, that looks like it's getting it a little better. Hopefully it's not too uh, jumpy. All right. So back to this. So this one actually seems to fit a bit better. Okay. This one's a one. This, this one fit pretty good. This is a zero, but it just kind of, it just 
sort of like fits right on top but um and there's no overlap or anything but if we can go down to a one and it fits you know check that and it's good everywhere um again we want to make sure that we have enough room um with this to put product in it and I, i'm going to show you what the products are that we're going to use because um, you don't want it to where when you squish this down everything comes spilling out because you need it needs to have some room and i think we're probably going to end up going with a zero okay um just because it feels like it's over squishing my nail when i put it down but also when i push it down like nice and firmly it doesn't look like there's room for for any of the product so say i put a little bit of product in here right if i put a little bit of product in it's probably going to end up squishing out the sides or not covering enough of my nail so we're going to try a zero on this side okay so it's probably a zero on that one now one thing that a lot of people do is they're like oh this nail is this size so that means this nail is that size on both hands right that's not always the case so we know that my left hand my left hand thumb is going to be a zero if we go ahead to the right hand there's a possibility that it's not going to be a zero and actually in this case it's not this uh, it's hard to tell in the camera but this actually goes way too far over the edges okay this is just way way too big for my for my little my little thumb over here so this one's good for my left hand so we're going to put that on the left left hand side this one let's try try one on here and this one actually fits a little better on this side and i still have room for putting in the gel okay because it's not overlapping on the edges it's not it's not overlapping but it also my nail isn't sticking out um and it has enough room for product okay so this one is going to go on my right hand side so my left hand zero right hand a one and I, use, I personally like to get these all set up so that when I go to paint my nail or put the products on, um, and I'll show those, when I go to put them on, um, that it's, it's just easier. It's bam, bam, bam. Okay? So let's see what we got next. Okay. So these are usually around a 7 or an 8. So we've got 0 or not 7 or 8. It's a 4 or 5. So we got... No, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So this one is a five. Okay. Generally, these are about, yeah, I was actually right, seven or eight, but we, I'm going to show you the five. Okay. Just to show, so you can see. This is what the five looks like. And I'm trying to see if it's showing up well enough. Let me see if I can actually make this nice and big for me. change it from there. Oh god. Oh god. Hit the wrong button. Uh, I want it to not be there. Ah, there we go. That way I can see a little bit better on my screen. Okay. So this is a five. Okay. And I know that's really hard to see. But here's my, I'll do it with this finger because this one will probably easier for me okay so we're gonna we're gonna try to place this over top of it and this one is way too big okay and I'll show you what I mean actually you know what I'll get something a little bit more exaggerated which will be a four this one's a four okay and I'll show you exaggerated how this is just way too big okay when you go to <clears throat> set these up on your finger, you don't want it to have a lot of overlap. Okay, can you see? Can you see that overlap there? I know it's a little hard. Ah, over here you can, probably. It's actually overlapping my finger. You don't want that. But you also don't want 
way too small. Okay. My nail, fake nail, way too small. Okay. Which means that when you go to put it on, it's squishing your finger way too much. Right? Way too much to where that actually hurts. Because these, these have the built C curve in, which is your structure. Um, but that actually, that hurts trying to put it on. But if you don't squeeze it down, okay, and it ends up being popping back up, you don't want it to have your nail outside of it. Okay, so we'll put that back. And I just want to double check this. Ghost, sweetie, what are you doing, hon? Oh, hold on. I did that wrong. Okay, there we go. Okay, so back to trying to find the right nail. So this was a five. I don't think it's gonna be a five. It'll probably be a six for these fingers, for my pointers. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and double check for this finger feels right. Um, it also, I don't know, it feels right, but if I push it down too much, it doesn't, it's overlapping my finger. Yeah, it's overlapping the nail, but if I don't push it down too tight, see, this is the one, this is the finger that's going to be the problem, um, because it has that weird curve to it, that's going to be a little bit of an issue for me, um, and it usually is unless I build the nail myself, but this, this feels comfortable, but if I push down too hard, and this is my first time using this system, so I don't, I'm not... Positive. Here, let me hold on. Hold on, let me look closer for me. Got it there and got it there. I think I'm gonna go with that this this size, which is a size six for this hand. Okay, so we're gonna put this one here. Um, but actually, let's take the size six and check it on this finger too. And that's way too big for too big for this one. It's actually cutting down into my finger on this side. So we're gonna put six on this side, but if that's the case and it's too big, probably go down to a size seven um, for this one. So we can give that a go. And that actually fits much more comfortably. It's good on each side. We still got room for um, any nail product. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's pushing into my skin, right? So when you put this down, you don't want it to be digging into your skin on either side as well, okay? So I think I'm going to go with a size 7. Let me see what a size 8 is for this one. Oh, that one actually fits a little better, actually. Size 8. See if size seven fits better on this finger. No, that that definitely hurts. I don't I don't like that. But for for here, see this is always the difficult thing is making sure that you get the right size. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with a seven instead of an eight for this one. So. Eight. Okay. Well, and we just keep on going. Okay. We'll just keep on trucking. Keep on keeping on. All right. So, generally, this nail is going to be bigger. Um, so we did a size six on this side. Let's try size six again for this one. Okay. You can probably see not really gonna fit, right? Because they've got the edges here. We could squish it down in there, but that kind of 
it still doesn't fit well and it's it's a little too tight so we're gonna go up to a five and double check that ah it's stuck okay up to a five and i'm not flipping you off guys i'm trying not to to flip you off okay i'm kind of happy with the size five i'm going to check a size four though just in case it might fit better Nah, that one doesn't fit but very well, okay? It could if you fill it with a whole bunch of goo and you fill in the big gap. Um, but I'm not going to go with a size 4. I'm going to go with size 5. Now, one of the things on here is you can see that my fingernail is kind of flared. So one of the things that we can do, which will end up saving us a little he headache later, is we can just take the file. You just want to file down the edge of your nail a little if you have a flared nail, which I do. Okay, so I'm just filing that down. Okay, my other fingers actually have a little bit of that too, so this one had it too. Okay, so that might end up becoming an issue, so I just want to file that down just a little bit. There's nothing wrong with a flared nail, but if it's trying to, if you're trying to put on the tips, it makes it a little hard. Okay, so we did a size five. Let's try this one. We'll do this one as a size five or see if it'll fit. Okay, and actually size five fits kind of nice on this side. So sometimes they match, but sometimes they don't. So just double check. Yeah, I think I like the size 5 for the side. Now one thing I'm going to do on this one, because this also has a flare, is just going to um, file it down a little, okay? Just a little bit. Next. So, let's see. We're going to try a size 6 this hand. And that looks like it would fit probably. I'm going to try seven. Because I know that in some tips my pointer and my, my ring fit the same. But these are new tips so now so that's a little too tight. So we're going to do six. And um, if it, if it, you're somewhere in between, these are um, customizable. So you can go ahead and file the edges to make it fit your nail just a little better. But I think, I think this one might fit well. Let me just double check this seven because that feels a little weird. Actually, you know what? Seven fits better. It just feels odd. And it's because I have weird little fingers. Okay. So we're going to do a seven for this side. We'll try the six on this side. And the six is too big. We'll try seven. Hmm. <laughs> ah, seven looks like it might be too small. Just maybe. Oh, no, actually. I just had it a little weird. Okay, so the seven fits pretty well. Okay, so seven on this side, and then we're down to the pinkies. And my pinkies are really, really small. So, not as small as a size uh, 11, though. I definitely don't think. Yeah, that doesn't fit at all. And I think this is a pretty good one to, to try to show. Um, you know what? Here, hold on. This will make it easier to show it. So just let me double get this. There is no way I'm going to use this ever on my finger. Because my finger won't fit it. So let me just... Uh, Okay, I'll 
let that go for a second while we find the right one. Let's go with a nine. Maybe a nine will fit. Yeah, yeah a little. I'll probably get away with a ten. is too small so nine um eight is probably yeah eight is definitely too big so it's gonna have to be a nine and i might just have to adjust it um by filing it a bit oh, that looks good let's check on this side good for this side, but I'm not sure. No, it's too big, so it's going to have to be a 9. I'll just have to file the edges back a little, um, because it's, my fingers, nails are flared. Okay, so do I have all five? One, two, three, four, five. Yep, okay. So, this one. Double check that it's nice and dry enough. Just, just for the, uh, for, for reference. Okay, so I put some green on here. This is a new green um, gel polish I got. Okay, now, show you how it's not right, okay? This is a really tiny one, and you can tell that it's not the correct size, because if you look, I'll put this on here, double check it. You see my, my natural na nail there? I don't know if you can but my matte natural nails right there. This does not fit. No, no it doesn't. No matter what way I do it, it doesn't fit. Okay, so definitely not the right size. But we got all what we needed here. I'm going to file this pinky back, or the edges just a little bit because it's flared. is a little better, I think. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So, we should be good there. Now, the system has nail prep. And, uh, nail prep, primer, and um, basically everything else that you need is all here. <coughs> These did not come with it. These are the DIY gel. Um, which I wanted. Uh, it comes with either, I think it's either clear or pink, like a coral color, um, press-on gel. And they call it press-on, basically, it's you paint, paint it on, and then you paint on here, and you put it on, and it sticks. But um, with this system, um, I believe it's longer. You can get up to 21 days worth of wear if you if you do it well enough, and you're not overly cruel to your nails. But this one is the clear, so we could use clear. I may use clear. I don't know, but I think it might be easier to use this so that we can see it. Um, but this this is uh, in a minute. Um, we have nail prep. Okay, pretty little nail prep. We've got nail primer, okay, and then at the very, very end of all of it, we have the cuticle oil. All right, so we are going to do nail prep first on all of the nails, okay, you just brush it on, make sure you cover the whole nail. That's kind of like a dehydrator, okay? Makes it ready for the primer. And 
this system actually it doesn't have any kind of harsh smell to it which is really nice so you do one coat And you know what's really nice is if you if you uh, when you buff off your your shiny nail cover, right? Your shiny nail. This kind of goes on. It looks really wet, and then it goes away. <laughs> okay, so that was the nail primer. Or not nail primer, sorry, nail prep. And then we've got primer, and. Um, yeah, we just put one coat of this on as well. Okay. Make sure to cover your whole nail. You don't want to get it too much on your skin because you can end up having reactions to a lot of this stuff. It's meant for your nails, not for your skin, so it is possible to have a reaction. So all of my nails are are all set, they're prepped, they're primed. Okay, so we're going to actually use the pink one. Uh, it's uh, like a coral color, okay? So we're going to use this, and this gets painted right onto your nail. And then you, will, I'll show you the process, okay? So let's bring this over in here so you can see. Okay, so we're going to start with my thumb. going to paint it on like a normal normal gel polish not too thick not too thin but a polish okay get it up to the cuticle and then down you don't have to when you go to paint okay you don't want to go blam right into the cuticle usually or what you should do is start a little bit back and then inch it up okay and then down back inch it up and then down. That way you don't flood your cuticle. Okay. Now because this is gel, what we could do, but I'm gonna do it just once, um, one at a at, at right now, um, which is this one. I want to make sure it's very well covered. Right? Well, that looks really well colored, okay? It's a nice pink little color. So that is painted on. Tip your finger over, okay? Just flip your hand over for just a few seconds. That way it levels out and you also get a, a little bit of a, um, a well, or, or, or a, um, uh, I can't think of the word, like a, a nice little self-leveled arch. Okay, and then we're going to stick it into the lamp for 30 seconds. These also, um, as far as I could read, I haven't tried them yet, but um, they don't get too hot, which is really nice. If it does, take your finger out, pull it off, put it back in. It means that you just put it on a little too thick, which I just did, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> six more 
seconds and this has buttons on the top so that you can tell exactly how long you're doing it and done okay so that's all that's all done okay now if you got it down onto your skin go ahead and just make sure that you clean that up a little okay which mine really didn't get down onto the skin so that's that's pretty good but if you did it's okay just make sure not to do it too often so we're going to go ahead and do the rest of, of this hand tip it over for f about five seconds turn on the lamp for 30 and then we can carry on to this hand and then we'll get the tips on i think i want pasta tonight for dinner i haven't eaten yet i've been eating super late Maybe I'll take some chicken out in a minute. Okay. Oh, it is a little thick, which is okay. I mean, it's kind of part of the system to be on the thick side, and that's totally, it's totally fine, because it's, it actually has kind of a feel of a builder gel, uh, in my opinion. Um, like a, a more liquidy builder gel. Which builder gel you can use to, to give yourself extensions. I personally like poly gel if I'm going to do that. Um, because builder gel is so messy. But, uh, this actually, this isn't too bad. It's a little, it's a, it's a system that I'm not used to. I've never used before. Um, so it's a little awkward but puppy hair but um i like it so far so far it's it's pretty easy um to do and as long as you if you're not sure if you watch tutorials on it um there's a, a wonderful tutorial by um nail career education susie um she does a great tutorial where she actually has max the person who developed this system um or has the a company, he, uh, he walks her through how to do it. Okay. Make sure your nail is all covered because this is what your, what the gel is going to bond to. You want this bonded to your nail and then you want the system bonded to this. So you know what I'm thinking, I might actually just finish up this and then we'll do the tips on this side and then we'll go ahead and do the other side, but I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. It might just make it, make it easier on me um, to do that. And then my tips on this hand won't get into the way of showing how to do them on this hand. Okay, so we've got that on. Flip it over. I actually didn't get this one well enough. The pinky. So tiny. So it was like I thought I got it. Yep. Okay. Okay. So flip it over for about five seconds. Okay. And then 30 seconds in the lamp. And again, if it gets hot, pull your hand out, put it back in. And it's, it's okay if it does get hot and you did a thin coat. Some people have very sensitive nail beds. Other people don't. I generally do not. Um, so for me, um, the heat doesn't bother me. Okay. This one actually came out a little weird. My pinky did. And then I'll, I'll see if you can see that. Uh, it's a little hard so I personally I can see that there's like there's a little bit of an odd um, I think I bumped it but it I didn't so um, hopefully that won't cause any issues but I also missed the very edge which is totally something that's possible because you do your nails like this you're looking at it you don't see this edge so let me just do that again and if you notice that you have 
uh, very flat nails. Um, you can put a second coat, coat of this gel on, um, which will give it a little bit more uh, structure for these nails to stick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Okay. So I'm thinking we will use the pink. Um probably. Uh, let me just double double think this through. Yeah, I'm going to use the pink so that it's easier to see. I'll do it for one of them, and then I might go to the clear. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, oh, wait. Hold on. This actually says for one, two, three, go application. So does this one. Let me see. Is this one the clear? Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't want to use the clear simply because it's going to be hard to see. So we'll do we'll do one of these in this one. Now the pink I I bought um, outside of ah I forgot that top off on that. Let's close that so that I don't do that again. Okay, so we've got this on. You don't want to wipe it off. You don't want to do anything with it. You just want to put it on. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start putting our nails on. Okay. Now, this is a matter of a learning. Um, I'm learning. But when you go to put this on, you're going to put this on right into here. Okay. Right into the actual nail. You don't want to go too far up because there's no reason to fill all the way up. Um, you just want to put it in enough to where it's going to cover your nail. So if we look at this, all right, we don't want to touch it to this right now. But if we look at here, we don't need to go that far, okay? We probably only need to go up to about here on the actual nail, okay? So we're going to put this in. Nice. Look at that pretty pink color. Okay. Okay. And you can use the nose tip of this to spread it around in here. Make sure to get it all the way up to the edge, all the way around the cuticle, okay, and down. Don't want too much so that it doesn't squeeze out, um, but you don't want so little that you end up with a problem. But from what I was seeing on um, the tutorial, there's a way around that. And if we have that issue, I can check that out, see if it actually works. Okay, so got this right up to the edge right we want to make sure that it's covering all the way through okay I know it's that's hard to see and I'm sorry okay covering all the way through um, and because I have such a tiny pinky I'm not gonna go any further up than that so now what we do is you want to go about that far up the nail okay up your natural nail you don't want to stick it right ahead on to the end um, or right up against the cuticle we're going to start up here okay and I'm actually gonna try to get up close to this so that I can see that I'm doing it correctly okay we're gonna we're gonna place it right onto the nail and slowly put it down and as we're putting it down we're also going to slide it up the nail to the cuticle edge now, not all the way up to the cuticle. You want a tiny amount of space at the cuticle um, edge so that you can we can file it. Okay, now I have a little bit coming out the sides, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We can always clean that up later. And just make sure this is nice and fit on here. Okay. Now it doesn't look, it looks like I have a few little bubbles, so I'm just going to rock it a little bit. I'm 
check all the way around to make sure it's on my nail. Now, the other thing is, okay, we wanna, I forgot to get this ready. This is a, the flash, okay, so that you can do it real quick. So, oh, I made a mess, I made a mess. That's okay, those things happen. Happy little accidents, right? So we don't want any bubbles. So we just rock that down. Make sure it's covered on each side. Okay. And if you're free to use the flash, like, you know, take your finger off of here and use it on the, the thing, we can just stick our full hand right into the, the machine. But I think I can do it this way. So I've got a tiny bubble here. I'll just squeeze that out because I didn't flash it yet. Enough for that bubble to stay. Okay, you can probably see it's kind of cooking. So we want the top, the bottom. All right, and looking good. Okay, so we just Hold this here, and that's not going anywhere, okay? Now, I did have <clears throat> some of these brushes here, okay? I made sure to grab these just in case. Take a little bit of um, acetone, which I generally don't want to use because it doesn't Play well with tips, but I want to get I want to get this this gel off of here to make sure it doesn't stick. You can better you to use like uh, alcohol or uh, like if you've done gel nails, a cleanser of some sort. But I don't have my cleanser nearby, and I need to buy more alcohol. I'm accident prone, so I go through a lot of alcohol. Okay, and I'm just cleaning up the edge here. And it's okay because we're actually going to file over top of the top of the nail, but not very much. So I'll show you that in a moment when we're, we've got all of them on. Okay, and then we've got this mess down here. So I just want to clean that up. And that's just because when we rocked this onto here, um, a little bit of the the uh, gel came out, and and it's okay because it's it's learning how to like how much of the gel you want for each spot. Okay, I'm gonna use my other nail as a tool, which you shouldn't do. And I think I think that's good. I think that's all cleaned up as best as I'm gonna get it right now. Which we'll clean it up when we file. Okay, so this actually has to sit for, I believe they say a minute. Yes, a minute to two minutes per layer. Okay, so we're gonna stick this back in here. Got the minute button and we're gonna do it for a minute. Okay, Ugh, 45 minute seconds left. Hi, quickly dying. How you doing? Yes, nails. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see you until just now. I was focusing on my nail. It's a whole new system. Um, I usually do acrylic nails, and this is a, a new system that I, I uh, watched and read about, and um, I was really excited to do it, but I was sick the last few days, so I, today is the first day I get to do it. minute per nail so that means like 10 minutes 
that's not bad actually. Acrylics used to take me like hours. Okay, and there we go. That one's all, that, that's stuck on. That's not going anywhere. That's pretty well stuck. And basically that's all you have to do with it. Um, we can paint it, we can clean up the cuticle area, which um, we'll do when all the rest of them are done um, because I don't want to get dust on everything else. So, um, yeah, we'll keep going. I actually think I'm going to keep the pink. Um, I like the color, the way the pink looks um, on here, this pink gel. Uh, we could do clear, but I, I really like the pink. So um, on we go to the next one. Okay, so we've got these again. They, 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 I've already fit them, um, so they fit well. Um, where you push them down, and they should fit very well on the nail, and they do. Um, yeah, they do. Okay, so now put the gel back on here. We got the little. Ooh, little one to flash it okay and again you don't want to put too much gel on here you don't want to fill up more than what the amount of nail you're gonna fill okay so we're gonna fill probably from about fill this area okay right up to the cuticle edge and it actually doesn't use the much of the the gel that they give you in these tubes I thought it was gonna use so much more now they do um, a XL kind these are just the long um, there's the extra oh this is gonna be too much there's the extra longs um, the ones they have which one day I might use um, but I thought for now they're a little too long since I haven't done my nails in quite some time um, and those need a little bit more of this gel than the others, or than these, uh, these do, because they have a very deep well for, for you to put the gel in. Tuna, why are you crying? You cry all the time about everything. to the edges okay see it's all covered no um no area that's not covered that needs to hit the nail okay put that on there so that when we cook it we don't we don't actually cook the tube okay and then again about ah, a third two-thirds of the way up on the nail I'm gonna start putting this down and then rock it back okay so squish it down start pushing it back and then we squeeze it down onto the nail oh yeah that looks good okay now I am going to stick this finger on it to hold it in place and then we're going to go under cook it and then on top just to get it to stay in place it's just a, a normal or a, a regular um like uv flashlight but it came with the whole the whole system so which i think it's cute it's a little cute kitty good. I actually hmm, might have gotten a little boogered up, but I can show how it got boogered up. So that's always mistakes are how we learn. Yep. yep, yep, yep. Okay. I'm gonna stick them in here. See how well we can if I can fix this.
clean up here. Okay. I'm gonna just squeeze this on out of here, even though it's sort of set already. Tuna, are you in the tub? I think my cat is in my tub. I don't know why. He's a bit of a weirdo. Okay, and I think with this one, we might actually have to do it twice, but I'm gonna show how I messed this one up, okay? When I was holding it down with the one finger, okay, you'd probably be able to see it's kind of too far on this side, okay? If you look over here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'm trying to see uh, if it's possible to see. You can see my natural nail is right there. We wanted that covered with the tip and that didn't happen, okay? And that's just because it got adjusted when I held it with one finger. So we're gonna have to figure out how to get around that. Um, but we'll be able to kind of clean that up so it's not as big of an issue as it is um, or as it looks, okay? So this is, this is gonna be fixable um, to an extent. And I'm gonna take my cuticle clippers and just take some of this extra gel. Hey y'all, stop, stop it. Enough. Okay, I'm gonna stick this back into the, um, to here, cause it just needs to sit for a bit. A little bit longer. And it's, it's because it's a darker color. So it needs, it, sometimes the darker gels need to have a bit longer of a uh, cure than recommended. If it was a clear, it would cure quicker. Ghost and tuna enough. Okay, and then we just flip it over too because there is the gel that gets down under underneath, and that's okay. Um, you just want to cure that as well because otherwise it's just sticky and it's gross and it doesn't feel good and it just gets stuck to everything so you see this gel here that's completely fine you don't have to worry about it that's gonna gonna get covered up with uh, nail polish you're not gonna be able i mean like the top will so when you're looking at it from the top you won't be able to see it um and i don't know how often you go up to people and you're like hi so that they can see the bottom um so it it won't be an issue okay just double check that that's all good yep 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 yep, yep. okay next okay so again um we'll be able to sort of cover this up make it not as big of a, a happy little accident um but this it can happen okay so on this nail um it looks like the same thing sort of happened where it just it it adjusted a little too far over because doing it with one hand when you're doing this so what we're going to do for this next one we'll try something different we'll we'll put the nail on we'll see that it's in a good spot and then we're just going to go like this into here okay instead of put it on grab this little dude try to hold it down with the one finger it's going to get it keeps getting adjusted so we have these two which are okay not the end of the world that we and we we they got moved um it just means that they'll probably have to be repaired sooner than the rest of them or sooner than normal okay so um these are set these are good they're also going to get continuously cooked <laughs> um by the lamp as we go okay they're going to keep on getting put underneath here and then we're going to fix them all up but we're also going to do this hand so we're finishing up this one first 
then um, we'll go ahead and get this one all prepped, um, which we already had the nail primer and prep put on. We just have to put the, the gel polish on or the gel base and then go ahead. But uh, let's go ahead and finish these up. Okay, let me double check that I, these still fit correctly. Yeah, it's not the size that I messed up, it's that I'm doing it with one hand. We're trying to hold the um, the nail down with one hand and I'm, I'm boogering it up that way. Okay. So we've got this down. I'm gonna go ahead and use the tip of the, the applicator. Just swirl it around. And I think the reason, one of the reasons why they have it this way, okay, where you can use the tip of the applicator, um, is because if you're going to use it with a, a gel nail uh, brush, you know, if you're if for building your nail with a, a gel brush uh, using poly gel, which this actually feels a bit like poly gel, um, but if you're going to be doing it with poly gel or with a gel builder, usually you're using a slip solution, okay, um, at, at least with the poly gel. Um, and the slip solution ends up, if you're doing it a press nail like this, you are basically adding something foreign to it. You're not, it's not the structure that's supposed to be there in between the two won't be there. So I think that's why they did it with the applicator tip. Um, cause the slip solution just ends up making it so that it doesn't, it doesn't quite, um, adhere properly. It, it basically adds a foreign layer to it. Okay. So we just want to make sure this is well covered all the way up to the cuticle. I really like this pink. I'm not a big pink person, but I like this pink. Okay. So again, we put it up about a third of the way, two thirds of the way up the nail. Okay. And set it down, rock it, and start pushing it backwards. Okay. Because you don't want too much at the back. And then when you, when you go ahead and you push down, it should, yep, should push the stuff in the back. And we go ahead and we're going to make sure that all around the nail is covered. And that I don't have it wonky in one way or the other. You don't want to push it too far back on the cuticle because we need to be able to get the file back there. sure it's nice and straight okay well, I'm making a mess and I put a little bit too much gel in this one but again it's okay it's all part of a learning experience better than my first time doing acrylics oh oh that was a mess oh my goodness that was such a mess I'm gonna set this up, make sure that this is good. Okay. Flip it over, make sure that my actual nail is sitting right, which it's not, so I'm gonna there we go. And I'll show this in just a second. Okay, so I will show how to fix this in just a moment. Um, and it's not a big problem to have to fix. Like I said, my nails, because I let you, they curve. Some of them do have a, a pretty prominent curve, and this one is going to be a problem later. Um, 
with that, it can cause issues with it actually sitting correctly in the nail when you put the, um, the gel coat into that well, uh, or the gel into the nail. And because of that, um, there's, so there's the structure that you would usually look for when you're doing your acrylics with the apex, um, and with the curve, okay, C curve, just like with, this is what gives it strength, okay? Um, because of that, you have a, a bit of a, a well, okay, between your nail and the actual tip. And you'll see that here, okay? I don't know if you, it's easy to see. Um, I'm trying to point it out, okay. So my nail, my natural nail, is right here, okay? I'm, I'm touching my natural nail there. The pink is where the well is, right? Okay, so I don't, it looks like you can see that. Um, it's a little difficult, but you can see this, this area here, that is the pink, that's the, the gel that we just put on. So there's a space between my natural nail and the fake nail. And that's okay, you kind of want that. That's where your structure is gonna be, okay? Um, but there's a little bit of too much space that didn't really get filled, right? So what we can do to fix that is we can take this, and this is the, the gel that we painted onto our nails um, before, okay? And it's because this nail, this, this one that um, is causing issues right now, it's a little wonky. Everybody has some wonky nails. They don't, not all nails are perfect. So we can just paint that onto here and that will balance out in here. And, and we just nuke it for, for a second. And that fills the tiniest little gap that we had. Okay, we don't want it to get up underneath, right? You don't want it up onto the actual natural nail. If you do, not the end of the world. It happened on these, right? Okay, but you don't want it to be where it's just empty space because that's how you get water and gunk, you know, from eating or playing with your dog or whatever. Um, that's how you, that'll get up underneath your nail, just like it will with your natural nails. And you just, that space will get really gross. You don't want that. So if you can cover that space, um, you won't get any type of fungal growth because you won't have water buildup. Um, and nowhere for the water to sit and um, no like dirt and debris grow, you know, going in there. Um, so that's all really. Uh, we're gonna have to clean that up. That came up a little too much on my cuticle, but we can file a lot of that away. They feel so nice and sturdy too. It's actually really, really nice feeling. I hate one of the things that I hate is when I do my nails long, I've always done my nails long, it's very rare that I do them short, um, is when you get them done, or you go, you do them, and when you push on them like this, it feels like they're going to pop off. When you push on them like this, it should feel like it's part of your nail, okay? If you push on it, it feels like it's going to pop off, like those sticky ones that you get as a kid, you, you, blech, you don't want that. Um, you want them to feel pretty sturdy. Okay. Ah, they're looking so pretty so far. Okay, so this goes here. I don't know why that one moved. And next, we got the pointer fingers. So let me, again, make sure this fits nice and well. Um, okay, so now that I know how a lot of this gel is working, right, some of these ones that we've already prepped may not, may not stick with what, what we would look for. Um, this one in particular, um, it fits. And it actually, this is actually a pretty good one for this nail, um, the more I look at it. But it, it could be that it's not supposed, it won't fit. Um, but this one actually does fit. So we're gonna, we're gonna try a little less <laughs> gel this time um, in the well. And um, we'll see, see how it sticks this time. So that should be more than enough there. squeeze 
squeeze it, squishy, squish it all around. Okay, it still feels like it might be a little too much, but I'd rather have a little too much than way too little. Get it on to the nail. Go push it down and slide it back. There we go. And then start pushing it down on the nail. Make sure your sides are covered. Okay. The back has good coverage. Alrighty, that looks really good. That came out better than the other ones have. Okay, and I know it's kind of hard for y'all to see, but I'm sorry. I wanted to set up my um, my actual like DSLR camera, um, but I don't have a capture card, which makes it kind of hard to do. <laughs> so um, uh, I have to order a capture card so that I can use that camera. you do it. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay. So that actually looks pretty damn good. Uh, right. So let's turn this on. Make sure it's nice and straight, even though this finger is wonky. I do have a very wonky, wonky finger. Um, it kind of, it turns in on it. Like, well, we'll see. We'll see if it dries like that. This one did it too, where I'm going to have to put some of that polish up in there. And again, that's okay. It's just because I have, I have weird fingers. <laughs> okay, so let's turn that off. So this one actually might be able to show it better. Yep, there you go. So there's my natural nail, that little white spot there. Then there's the blank space, and then the fake nail. So just a, not enough gel really got in there. Okay, just in, because the fingernail kind of curves a bit more. Um, so we just got to put a little bit of this gel polish that I, I used before. Stick it into that space, cure it, and it'll be fine. No problems. But you don't want to leave a space like that. Um, because then you end up with possible area for... Um, water to get trapped and then you can get like nail fungus and uh, icky stuff just kind of stuck in there. Okay. Yep, that's nice and covered. Okay, and I'll show you. Okay, so you see where my natural nail is and that it's nice and pink. There's no space. You, I mean, there's space between my finger and the nail. There's no space between nail and nail. It's all filled in, okay? So we just let this sit here like this for a second, and we're gonna cure it for 30 seconds. And that just covers up that space. So you don't end up with an area for water, bacteria, fungal growth, anything like that. And I personally have never had an issue with my nails um, growing any type of fungus or ending up getting infected uh, but I've also been doing my own nails for years so I'm very protective of my nails so if there's an area that's lifting too much or an area that can get 
any kind of ickies in it, um, I take them off. I'm like, nope, we're not doing that. Okay. That's good. Didn't squeeze out. Nice and good. But here we go. I'll show you. So I don't know if you'll be able to see. But this finger is kind of wonky. Right? It's because my fingernail grows that way. Okay? And goes in a little a little curved. <laughs> Same thing with this one. It's okay. I don't care. It's just how my nails are. And we'll see that better when we, uh, when we paint them, which we're going to do emerald green and a few other colors on it. Um, and trying to find emerald green is a nightmare. Okay. Now we've got our thumb and I'm actually going to put a little bit more of this on it, um, for the thumb because my thumb is a little flat. Okay. And a lot of people have flat nails. Um, but my nail is a little flat, so I just want a little bit more of, uh, area for the, the gel system to stick. Okay. Yeah, all right. There we go. So we just cure it like this real quick for 30 seconds. And then we'll, we'll do the tip. These are so pretty too. I um I also got stilettos, but I was really wanting to do the ballerina coffin shape. And I know a lot of people don't like calling it a coffin; they think it's morbid. But it is what the the shape is called. But they have they have decided um, a lot of places call them the ballerina now. Okay, so this is the one we chose for our thumb, and that'll still work. Okay, so again. Put this into the well now because it's our thumb we're gonna need more space more gel in here and we're gonna need to fill up to about there okay and this gel is so thick that you have to like really like ah use a lot of a lot of hand strength to squeeze it on out of there Just pat it around. Make sure all of the spots that we're going to need it in, especially up by the cuticles, because that's the area you're going to have most lifting, is um, is covered. Because you don't want lifting. That's that's when you have to start taking the nails off. Now, whenever you do your nails and you have to take them off. Do not just peel them off. You will ruin your nail very, 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 very much. And it will hurt. Um, if you've ever broken a nail or accidentally peeled the nail off or if you've gone to a salon that peels them off, um, which I have, um, you ha run the risk of peeling off a chunk of your nail. And I have had that happen before. Um, not fun, very painful and uh, very bad for your nail. It takes a while for it to get healed. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stick this on. Do this, push it on back, okay? Now, here we go. Don't want it right up against the cuticle. You want enough room to fit your file so you can clean it up, okay? Nice and good. I wanna make sure that I am properly on on all sides. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, I'm going to turn this on. Make sure that my actual nail is covered. Which, okay, it is now. I moved it just a little too one side. Okay. There we go. Cure 
it fully. And then we'll get on to the right hand. The right hand is going to be the difficult one. And the reason why it's going to be difficult is because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to have a bit of an issue with it. Oh, my throat is so sore. I gotta get into the doctor. I think I've got like an ear infection. all set. Let me just flip it over real quick. Okay. That should be good. You know what? I'm actually going to stick it back underneath there just for a second. Because it didn't get the underneath as well as it could have. Um, so it's still, still squishy. We don't want that. Ah! That's not good. Clean up some of that. All right, put this back underneath here for a second, just to make sure that it's nice and um, cured under. I think I might have to nail prep this one again, but maybe not. I don't know. Fuck it, we'll leave it. set of these on well full set on this hand okay so we've got a few few learning things here for instance excuse me a few of these I put way too much on and it squeezed out the back now we can file a good portion of that away um, so that's what we're gonna do um, but we're gonna finish up on the right hand first so that um, so that's nice and done. The other thing that we also learned is uh, to put our hand in like this um, in, and uh, because these here, these shifted. So we have part of our natural nail showing instead of it just being covered by these nails. These, these feel really nice. They're holding up very well. They don't feel like uh they're gonna fall off anytime soon they feel very good um and uh they look cool too i like them they look pretty cool so i can't wait to paint these but and i'll show you how to clean them up we're not going to adjust anything on them um we're not going to adjust uh the structure of them because they're fine the structure is fine what we will do is we will clean up the cuticle area we will file uh, the front area so that it's a little flatter because there's a few of them that have kind of the plastic nubbies left on them from when they were made and um, and then what you do so that the gel polish sticks is we buff away the shine um, just you know a quick buff over the top for the shine and then we can put the, the nail polish on them um, but let's go ahead and get my right hand done and uh, and then we can we can get to the next part that's the fun part, which is the painting and the designing and all that kind of good stuff. Ow, just need to move my leg. <sighs> what is my dog chewing on? What are you chewing on, baby? Oh, your toy? Okay. As long as you're not chewing on anything you're not supposed to. <clears throat> okay. Ah, oh, they can itch too. Like they can scratch itches. <sighs> My goodness, I'm tired, I guess. Okay, let me just clean this up. Okay, good enough. <sighs> right, so we're putting this on. 
Okay, and again, for this one, it is 30 seconds to cure. Um, but you flip your hand over for five, then stick it in uh, like normal um, for, for 30. Um, and the flipping your hand over for five is just to make sure you have your arch in the right place and that it's, it's, all, it's all good. Okay, and you don't want to put it on too thick. Okay, and again, when you go to do it, you will you put your brush up a little further away from your cuticle and push it back just so that you don't end up flooding the cuticle with too much um, of the gel. The same thing happens when you do the painting of your nails as well. Um, okay, that looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do all of these um, so that they're all done. You know what, I just realized I'm missing a nail. Yep, I'm missing a nail. That's no good. We'll have to look for it. My luck, it's probably on the floor and my dog got to it. It's always a bummer. Uh, I don't like losing things. I don't know where the hell it went. Maybe it's stuck to my arm. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to make myself some tea tonight. Jesus Christ, my throat hurts so much. I got it covered all over because uh, it won't stick very well if you don't have certain spots covered. Okay, and one of the things that's annoying is when you're painting your own nails, you're looking at it in this direction, so you end up missing this backside. Sometimes you can actually miss the spot that you're looking at too. Um, so, there we go. Ooh, they smell so good. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Ah, didn't do it. Okay. It's okay. It was only, only nuked for a moment. Where the hell did that other nail go? Okay, so I'm <clears throat> pretty much done with that one. But where did that... Ah, oh. hmm. Right hand is kind of sensitive today on that. Nope, it's not stuck to me. It's not on my table. Well, where the hell did it go? Because I've got pinky ring. Whoop. Pinky ring, middle, and pointer. But my thumbnail is missing. Hello? I found it. I found it. I found it. Long lost thumb. It has returned. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, so. This pinky nail, I think I might put another coat on. But. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm going to put another coat on it. Okay? Just because, if you look at it, I don't know if you can tell from there. Hold on. 
moves the key key leave out, out of the way. It's a very flat nail, right? Not much of a curve to it. Not much of a, a curve. These ones are actually a little flat too, but they're, they're not nearly as bad. So we're gonna put another coat on here, turn it over. Um, might actually do one to this thumb too. You know what, that thumb is fine. So we're gonna put another one on here, just because this is such a flat, flat finger. And it's really small. You know, I have a very tiny pinky um, nail. So we're just gonna add a little bit more structure to this one. To do that, we're just going to put an extra, this extra coat on here of um, this gel, okay? Flip it over. <coughs> no ghost. Quiet. Flip it over. And whoop, into the system. Right, almost done. Two, eight more seconds. There we go. All right. So let's start with the pinky. Okay. I'm gonna use the gel again. Okay. This was the pinky nail. Let's just double check that it'll still that it's it fits. Nothing worse than having the one that doesn't fit. Okay, hold on. You're giving me trouble that way. And, you know what? Yep, we're going to have to adjust it, I think. Yeah, it just doesn't fit well. Okay, so this one is a 9, right? And I think we did a 9 for this one. Um... Since this one is actually a little too small, we're going to have to go up to a 10. What are you doing, puppy? Huh? Or, uh, no, too small. Could go up to an 8, sorry. What are you doing? We're going to double check this. Fits well there. Uh, and it's actually a little too large on the side, so let me double check this 9 again. Ghost. Can you give me five minutes? Okay, good. Yeah, you know what? This nine is actually gonna... Oh, is this nine or is this ten? No, this is nine. Ugh, I hate trying to find the right ones. Yeah, this isn't, this isn't good, so we're gonna do the eight. Ah, I made a mess. It also is a little too big so this is where it gets a little bit of an uh, annoying because now I gotta try to figure out where to go with this this is nine yeah yeah this is nine gonna go with me quiet ghost I mean that was a good bark nice and quiet but still okay so we're gonna go with the eight I'm just going to actually file the edges down just a little bit because it is a little big for my finger Just a 
little little filing. That's it. Not in, not in too big. Not in too too drastic. Okay. And there we go. That fits a lot better. Okay. So now we're gonna put this in here. Ghost, what's up, baby? Huh? Are upset with him. Okay. okay, we're gonna put this in here. Hopefully, not too much this time. Smudge it all around. Smudgy, smudge, smudge, smudge. Smudge, 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 smudge. There we go. That should be good. onto the nail here and slide it back ghost honey can you just hold on a second you were out less than like okay so we got that nice and good there squish down nice and well Underneath is good. Sides are good. All right. There we go. Right into the lamp. And again, this is a minute you have to put this in the lamp for. Yes, I know. Hold on. I'll get you in just a second. Okay, I'm going to have to take a quick break because the dog needs to go out. So um, I will be uh, back in just a moment. I just have to finish up this one. Um, and then I will try to get him out and not mess up my nails at the same time. So one of the nice things about doing gel because it doesn't, it doesn't get so messy. Hold on, ghost. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. You just got to give me a second to finish this curing. Yeah, I know. You're a butthole. Okay. I'm going to transfer this over to the Be Right Back screen, and I will literally be right back.
Alrighty, I am back. Okay. My camera decided to jump, but, um, I can fix it. There we go. Okay. So, let's finish this up. Oh. Don't worry, I know if you're looking, oh, excuse me, for gameplay. Um, we'll be back live later. Um, I don't know how much later, but sometime later. Um, and we're going to be playing some Sniper Elite. So, yeah. If I'm still doing pretty well in Sniper Elite sniping people, I'm doing it with nails this long. So, let's, uh, let's keep going. I think I had this actually down a little bit closer. Eels. I think like that. Uh, maybe. There we go. Okay, let me just change this again. Oh, my throat hurts so much. Okay. So we got our pinky. Yeah. Now, one of the things that, uh, thankfully, we have to keep on putting our hand in here. But underneath here, this didn't cure absolutely all the way. It's actually kind of squishy. So we're going to keep on curing um, constantly because we have to keep doing for the rest of these. And uh, then we are going to, um, then we're, we're going to double check, okay, um, and see how it is. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and finish that up. I'm excited. Man. Oh, excuse me. If you are a, if you have never gotten your nails done to this length or any length longer than, I don't know, I'd say about here, which is pretty standard. Okay, so you have about, I don't know, maybe that much of your nail. Um, you know, that, that long of a nail. If you do them any longer, always um, you start to learn the, uh, the pinching way of picking things up. You don't go this way to pick things up or you jam your nails. Um, when it comes to picking things up, like you're doing your zipper up, it's always always like this, protect your nails, because otherwise you're gonna jam your finger, okay? It's always, always like this, always. Um, you know, so that you don't jam your nails. You lead with your lower half of your nail and you, you grab like this. Just saving you some trouble of jamming your fingers because I've done it and it hurts. Okay, so this is the ring finger. Let's double check that this is good. And no, that one isn't actually. And what size with this? Seven. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Make sure to put it back into the right one. That'll go up to a six. That one's better. Okay. So fill this in. Okay. And squish it all around. And if anybody messages, I am very sorry if I don't see it right away. Um, because I'm, I'm, I'm focusing here. <laughs> but I am looking up to make sure that you're able to see what I'm doing. Um, and to check the messages. Just hard. I'm good at multitasking, but I don't know if I'm that good. Oh, and I need to have either some soup or some tea. My goodness, I can't believe how much my throat hurts. I hope I didn't come down with the Delta variant. I got my COVID vaccine, um, and I stayed home for after. I was really sick. I was sick as a dog after my, my um, COVID vaccine. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping I don't, uh, I don't get sick. Because I have asthma, so... My asthma! So I don't, um, I don't want to, to get this, uh, Delta variant, because it, um, won't be good for me. Okay, actually, this one came out really good. Oh, I'm proud of this one. Yeah, boy! Okay, hit that. Squirt it down again. 
squishy, squishy. And into the light. Don't go into the light. Walk away from the light. underneath is good oh oh that is a good nail oh I'm so proud of that one okay that one came out good maybe a little crooked but mm. ah okay We'll just give this another 30 because um, part of it I didn't have it in there so yeah we're gonna do so these are I got these off of Amazon and they had great reviews these nail polishes are Beatles gel polish uh, soak off UV and LED cured okay and you can usually tell an uh, um, a gel polish because they're not inside a clear um, they are usually inside of a, a black or or you know um, dark non-see-through bottle damn look at that one that one came out good okay um so we've got emerald green we're gonna do we've got this like ultramarine blue um and then we've got the designs um that i'm gonna do uh of a light blue a white and a black i'm not entirely sure what type of designs i'm gonna do for these um, but these are the colors definitely these two and I'm thinking stripes with these two which I have um, What is it detail brushes so that we can do stripes and all that kind of detail and stuff I don't usually do really crazy details just because I can't it's hard to do my right my right hand um, I usually do easier stripes or or something along those lines Okay, oh, we should double check this one. This one was a five so I'll double check this. Yes, the five works. Okay. Just making sure. There we go. Nice, nice amount there. I really like this pink. And like I said, I am not a pink person. It's more of a mauve, but I am not very pink. All of this stuff is pink, and I'm like, oh god, why? My bedroom was pink growing up. Ugh. I mean, nothing wrong against people who like pink. I like purple. Purple's my color. But, holy crap, it's a lot of pink. Okay. Alrighty. Seems like a good amount. Go ahead and squish it onto this nail and slide it back. Oh, I didn't, I slid too, too quick, too fast. I was too fast, too furious with this. Okay. I know you can't really see what I'm doing here, and I'm sorry, but I also am trying to make sure that I don't bugger it up. Little too far over and underneath good underneath is not good so we gotta squish it down just a little bit more okay I think that should be good should be good and I'll if it's buggered up on the bottom I'll show you how to fix that Actually, the bottom came out pretty okay. There's not no problem there. So next, after this, after these last two ones, I'll show you what we have to do with the cuticles and buffing the nail. Um, and then we can start painting, which is great. I'm excited. I always love the painting part. The painting part is awesome. 
Purple is okay. Violet is your color. I mean, that's kind of a purple. You know, when it comes to pink, I'm actually, I like um, hot pink. Hot pink, I like. I'm okay with. Sweet. That one actually came out pretty good. And no spaces underneath, so we're good there. So, surprisingly, my right hand is coming out better than my left hand, and I am right hand dominant. Go figure. Okay, so we have to get, they feel good too. So now we get these last two done. And again, pinchy, pinchy pinch. It's the easiest way to pick things up um, when you got your nails this long. Okay, make sure this fits. Yep, it fits. Now, if you are gonna do this and that you're not gonna use this system, um, usually um, with the nails that you get from like Sally's or anything like that, um, that are the full coverage and you wanna do it with say glue or acrylic to hold it down. Um, and they call those jellies, I believe. Um, you have to file the inside of the nail before you go ahead and put any of this product inside it. It just makes it adhere better. It's not the end of the world if you don't, but um, it, it just makes it so that they don't lift um, or you know separate from the product. Why the hell does my neighbor need to slam the damn door every damn time? Okay. Alrighty. Ew, I got it on my finger. Okay, so go ahead and again, put it onto the nail. And squish, 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 all the way back. Okay. Make sure it's down well. And it is. And it's, no area is, is showing up too much. Now, this is the nail that I was worried about that we were going to have problems with. And I'll show you in just a second as to why. Um, it might not have a problem because I tried to put enough of uh, the gel in here to keep it from being an issue, but it also looks like it might be just saying, screw you Val, and making it a mess. So, we shall see. Oh, what the hell? Yep, it's just telling me, screw you. you, you you're not gonna win. Ah, well, that's okay make sure that I do have some gel in these areas though. Um, I just had to take it out so that I could see. Take it away from the camera so I could see it. It's hard to see and to have the camera up to it. Okay. It's about as close as that's gonna get. So, oh no, it popped up. This damn nail, it's always a nightmare. Even when I do acrylic, it's a damn nightmare to do this nail. It's because it has a curve to it. Um, some people have, have weird curve, have a very weird curve, but this damn nail, it does. So we'll have to, we'll have to adjust that a little. And by adjust, I mean, we'll have to put some of this in, in the, um, the gap, like we did the other one. Um, it's just because it's, instead of the nail having the nice little arch to it and coming straight out, mine goes and dips. Oh, actually, it didn't come out too bad. Cool, probably don't have to do that. Sweet! Let's put that in for a few more seconds because I fiddled with it outside of it. <laughs> My cat's like, what is that sound? Okay. So, okay, so you can see um, my natural nail. Oh, let me turn this off. Natural nail, 
Okay, so there is a little bit of a, a gap there, you see it? And then the fake nail. So we're just gonna put some of this um, in between there just to make sure that it's good and sealed because I don't want an area that can have bacteria form. Um, and uh, we'll make sure that that's all nice and good. So let me just do that real quick. And this, only, this one only takes 30 seconds and then we just have the thumb left and then we can start doing all the filing. Okay. No, no, I got it on my skin. <gasps> oh, no. All right. So now it's nice and filled, right? You don't see that big shadow or as much of a shadow anymore because this color is a little different. Um, but you're good there. 30 seconds into the lamp. No ghost. Gotta relax, buddy. I know, it's annoying, but can't do anything about it. Okay. And our last nail, which is this thumb. Okay. So let's just double check that that's the right size still. And there's a fuzzy. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Now, you know what? I'm going to go up one. Which is so funny because I never have to use a zero, like ever. But for this system, I have to use a zero. Yep. The zero is the one that, that wants to fit well. I don't have big hands. My hands are really small. Thumb needs a decent amount. Not too crazy, but a decent amount. Okay? Um, because it is a big, big area that I have to get all this in. So here we go. Scorch it all around. I know, baby. You can come up and cuddle in just a minute. Poor little puppy. <gasps> My poor puppy. I promise. and up to the edges. Okay. Squish down on here. Sweetie, what are you doing? You're fine. And squeeze it on back. Okay. So you see it squirt out the front a little. And that's okay. Um, part of that's because I do have my nails a little longer, so I wanted it to be able to do that. Um, and it is kind of going up into the cuticle area, but we'll clean that up. We'll clean that up as best we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on, baby. Just give me one second, babe, and then I'll put you on my lap. One second. One second. Give me a moment. I promise you'll be able to come up. What a weirdo. Okay. And we're going to clean this up a bit because it's a little too much in that well. like I want to be over here I'd show you but it's a uh, kind of hard right this way get off of there he's on the table on my couch because we have a we have one of those um couches that have the the center part folds down and it's like a table and he's sitting he's standing right on it get down baby Oh, you'll love it. I ended up getting a really nice red color that's the exact color you're looking for. Hold on, okay? Let me get this nail done. You're so impatient. So 
impatient. Sweetie, just go, go up here. Come back here. I love you. You're an idiot. You're so stupid. Okay, come on. Come on. Ugh. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Go ahead. If you can't tell, my dog is on my lap now. Ugh, what a dumbo. Dumbo. My little dumbo. It's okay. You're a mama's boy. I've made you that way. You see his little face. Okay. So, we're going to close this up. Um, and that nail's actually okay. It's going to need to be cleaned up a little bit. So, let me do that. Well, if you're going to be on me, don't lick yourself. Jesus. What do you want? Put <laughs> that. Okay. So, I'm just taking my cute cool clippers. Um, I'm trying to clean up this one bit of, there we go, I got it, I, I got it, see, it's all clean now, but I am going to put some of this in here, just to make sure that I don't have any of those pockets, um, where the water can get to, okay, because that is the, one of the number one ways that you end up with fungus, is you have an area that has a pocket, it gets moisture in it, and uh, next thing you know, moisture breeds fungus and mold and whatnot. So you gotta make sure that you fill all those little pockets. Uh, no, sweetie, I'm gonna end up doing them um, green, this green here, and I'm doing a matte. So I'm doing it this green and this aqua marine like blue. Um, but I will show you the red one. I'll, I'll take a picture of it when I'm done uh, with everything. Okay. Cool. So, all done. Now, next portion that we have to do, okay? And this is important if you want your nails to grow out pretty flawlessly okay you don't want them to to look too bad um and that is we got to clean up around the cuticles okay and then in order for our gel nail to gel nail polish to adhere we're going to need to take this one we're going to need to buff over the top of the nail we're not filing away anything on the actual top of the nail okay because this is all the structure we need this is all done this the system comes basically done um, all we are doing is we're cleaning up around the cuticle so that you don't have that lip and we're going to to clean up right here the, the free edge um, so that that's nice and clean and then buffing the top for the gel nail polish system to stick Hold on one second, I gotta put a pillow down for the puppy. Oh no! Hello! <laughs> the puppy wants to take up his space, so he's kind of being a pain in my butt. But I love him, so he's allowed to be. I gotta tighten up my camera. Don't look into the light, puppy. Don't look into the light. Okay. Here. Here. Use the pillow. There you go. Okay, so. Silly puppy. You're lucky you're cute. Don't stick your nose in there. So we're gonna clean up around the free edge. Um, free edge, free edge, free edge, okay? And then around the cuticles. So let's go ahead and do that. Ow. Okay. Silly puppy, you make this very hard. Okay, so 
so you see you can probably see where I'm filing because it's not shiny anymore that's the area we're filing we're not filing over the top to get rid of any any um, product which is this plastic so we're not getting rid of any rid of any of that we are just cleaning up the edge A little harder than usual because my dog but he's in a needy mood so it's okay I think he knows that I'm not feeling well because I've got a cold um, or something so he wants to be up my butt because the cuticle okay I'm not cutting the cuticle but there is a little bit of product that came up out of the area that I wanted it and it's not filing away so all I do is just sniff that away a little bit okay keep on making sure that this free edge or this edge here the cuticle edge is nice and nice and flat with my, my nail, okay? Okay, now I want to file here, okay? And with these long nails, you want to either pinch it or find another way to hold your nail nice and firm um, because it feels awful to file it it'll jostle down in here it'll also kind of mess with the structure that you just did so you want to hold it nice and firm okay and it allows you an, a sturdy area to file back and the only reason why we're filing back a little bit is because um, when they make these you can see it on this one here possibly it has a, a little tag and that's not what you want you want it nice and flat okay and then we can clean up the edge okay nice and flat here especially if you ended up with your free nail your 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 natural nail being outside of the plastic okay so you just want to go ahead and clean that up just a little bit any split spillage that you had um, come out that can all get cleaned up that way okay and there you go don't have to do a whole lot with it okay it's all it's there's no lip here okay and then what you do is you buff it okay we're gonna this is a 180 grit on this side or um sorry 100 grit on this side 180 grit on this side so we did 150 so we can go to the 180 okay and we're just gonna smooth it out these don't ruin the shape um they just they just allow you to be able to smooth it and give you a nice, nice clean look. Okay, and now we can do 100 um, real quick over the top, and then we finish it with the 180, um, just to allow it to have an area for the gel nail polish to hold. Because if you have it nice and shiny, um, the gel, is, the gel polish is not going to hold. It, it just peels right off. Okay, you want you want it to be just a little etched so that it can hold, just like we did with our natural nail. Oh, hi Zach. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, so there you go. You see now the um, cuticle cuticles nice and clean right you don't have any uh, overhanging areas the nail itself isn't shiny and that's important so that we can put the gel polish on it um, and you actually you don't even have to go to 180 um, you can leave it at 100 just to, to etch the nail enough the gel is going to fill in all of the etching so it'll come out nice and smooth but to be able to put your gel on you need you need to um, you need to etch the the fake nail okay 
and we'll just keep on going. Okay, just around the outside of your cuticle. And um, if you want a good filing video to know how to file your nails, again, go look at Susie at Nail Career Education um, on YouTube. Um, and she has amazing videos to teach you how to do your nails. Um, or, you know, just, just generally good, good videos, okay? Um, so that's, that's always a good one to go to, okay? Let me just clean up this edge. I wonder how long he's going to take before he decides to move um, with me filing. He's probably not. He's probably going to stay this way until I get up. Or say, I gotta. Nope, he stayed. You know, I freaked him out. Aw, poor Zach. Zach, am I spooky? Did I scare you? got it nice and clean again right around the cuticle you don't have to go crazy you just need to get it clean enough so that it doesn't doesn't have a lip okay and it doesn't look like that so now this one's nice and clean and we cleaned up the edge okay um, there's no no overhang of my natural nail I'm just gonna buff the top like we did with this one okay it's really easy really quick And Zach is my um, my sister's fiance, and uh, she was messaging me saying, "Say hi to him so that you can freak him out, because he doesn't know this is live." So that's why I'm saying hi to him. Okay, it's shiny shines away again, so that the uh, gel holds. Okay. You don't want to go crazy. You don't want to get rid of too much of the nail that you did you that you put on. And the same goes um, with any of these kinds of these ones that you put on. You don't you don't want to overdo it. Now, if you do acrylic or you do um, poly gel or builder gel, then you you can go crazy. But with these these ones, you don't want to go crazy. Okay. Now this one. This is one of the ones that I put way too much of the, that gel in. So it squeaked out the back. So I'm actually going to take my cuticle cutter to it if I can. Um, again, don't cut your cuticle. Um, just try to get, if you have this happen, just try to get that product off. And don't clip the plastic. Because we'll file that back. But if you have it to where it goes past, you're going to take forever trying to file that off. Sorry, puppy, I didn't mean to scare you. And make sure that you don't, because sometimes this can happen, that it's cured all the way. And it doesn't look like it is, so I'm going to stick it in here real quick. Don't look into the light. You'll go blind. you go blind. I don't want my puppy blind. Okay, so that should be good enough. Yep, okay, and now we can go ahead and file. And the only reason why I clipped it and put it back in here is because um, a bit too much came out the back and it didn't cure all the way. And if it doesn't cure all the way, it's almost as bad um, as having water in there. You want it to be nice and cure. It's not going to have the structure. It's not going to be strong. Um, but it's also just a, basically a liquid that you got back there. 
And that's part of the problem with using um, using a colored gel or um, outside of the clear one because the clear it allows it you can go all the way through. But with these ones, it's I've tried it with like white and stuff when I've done numb poly gel, and it doesn't it doesn't cure right. And it's just because it's it's a color. It doesn't allow the the um, the light to permeate all the way through. Okay, nice clean cuticle. And again, I'm just you don't want to go too crazy on it because you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to cut your cuticle, um, but you want it so that when it grows out, it looks natural. It doesn't look like a fake nail. Okay, there we go. Clean up the back. And then we take the buff, okay? Oh, thank you, After School Cartoons, for following. I hope you have a good night. Okay, so then we just go ahead and we buff it, okay? Again, that's so that we can keep the, the gel polish on there. If not, it just peels. And I know some people like to do that, like peel the nail polish off. I had a, a friend at one of my jobs who would paint her nails just so that she could peel the nail polish off. Um, I don't want that to happen. Generally, if I paint my nails, it's because I want it to stay painted. Um, so, um, so yeah, that's why you buff them. Okay, nice and clean. So after we're done with this, you can go ahead and wash your hands. Um, <laughs> thank you. With what kind of after school cartoons? Like um, the ones on Adult Swim or <laughs> Rule 34 cartoons? Like <laughs> what kind of after school cartoons? Okay, and again, I'm using the cuticle clipper because these were the first three that I did. And they, they just squeaked a little bit too much of that gel out. And trying to file them, it hurts because it's on my skin. Um, and also, it's not going to file away. Because it's not a very hard gel. Just go ahead and file them. Old school when you were a kid? Okay, throw it at me. How old school? Because I know my voice and the way I look does not match my age. Are we talking like lamb chop further back? Okay, I'll get rid of that little tab there. Don't need to go nuts. And actually this one filed out pretty, pretty quick. Oh, Tailspin? Oh my god, I love Tailspin. Tailspin is awesome. Tailspin was one of my favorites. My first word was uh, ducky because um, I would watch Tailspin, Darkwing Duck, and, um, oh, good grief, what was the other one? The one with Donald Duck and the Duckburg? I can't remember anymore. Oh, rewrite history, DuckTales. That's right, DuckTales. Ah, woo! Baloo was taken, Darkwing Duck. Oh, no. <laughs> Those are my favorite. What about Bonkers? Do you, do you remember Bonkers? I think that only had like two, two seasons. Not even. With a little bobcat that was a detective. Ah, oh, those were the times.
Yes, I mean DuckTales. <laughs> yes. Yep, my first words were ducky, because that's all I watched, was all the duck, the duck cartoons. Okay, so this one's good. Um, you don't remember Bonkers? I don't think many people do. It was one of those obscure ones. It was on, I think, Cartoon Network or something like that. One, baby. One. Okay. But Bonkers was good. It had, I think it was Eddie and Bonkers, who was the little bobcat that uh, was a detective. Okay, now we go on to the pinky. Yep, ducky. Okay. I think tomorrow I might do a craft stream. We might work on um, doing a pattern, a crochet pattern of Pikachu. So we might do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know what time, um, but later tonight after I eat and, and everything, um, we'll play some Sniper Elite again. Probably not as long. Local cartoons? Yeah, I know we did too. But like I don't, some of the Cartoon Network channel like cartoons came in on our antenna. The local, um, the local channels. You know, we had an antenna that you had to go out back and rotate by hand in order to get certain stations in. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm doing this outside of the camera. Um, it's just hard to, to get it filed well inside the camera. Okay. Just buff it up again. it so that it doesn't feel all kinds of funny when you're filing. Yeah, I don't think we had cable until, oof, I don't remember. We went, we went on and off of cable for a while because where we lived we couldn't get, couldn't really get good channels and it was a waste of money. Okay, so there we go. So, just to show the difference, actually, this one needs to be filed just a little bit more. There. Okay, so we got the one I just finished, and we got this hand. See how it all is all shiny? If we put any type of gel nail polish on here, it's going to have a hard time staying and a hard time sticking. It's going to peel off really easily. Yeah, yeah, we had cha we had cable. We had um dish before you were born though. Um cast. Yep, you had antenna but the rabbit ears. Yeah, we had. I actually still have the tiny the tiny um TV. It's um Don't show my feetsies on Twitch. Um <laughs> Oh no. Stupid camera. We, I still have the tiny black and white TV um, that had the, the rabbit. Yeah, I know. I keep dropping it because I got a stand for it. But the stand is, it's all kinds of wonky. I was trying to do. <laughs> no, I have it. You know, I still have it. Um, I lost the plug for it. But as long as I find the proper DC unit, I can. Um, you're an elder. <laughs> You're an elder millennial. I'm I'm 30. I'll be 31 in November. So how much elder of an, a millennial are you? Um, Cass, 
I think you're technically a millennial. I don't know. You're in that cusp of, of millennial Z, uh, Gen Z. I really, I, I don't know. I think you're like young millennial uh, elder Gen Z. A Zoomer. <laughs> what? Do, I don't even know what you just said. You just turned 39? Well, uh, congratulations on just turning 39. So you're not too much older than me. Okay, I see. Melges. Okay. So, ah, here's a good one. Okay, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. One more year and you'd be Jen's ex. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Might be able to. It's kind of hard. Do you see that pocket there? Okay. So, that's because I went a little too far back with, okay, with the, um, the gel. And it ended up on my cuticle. Okay, we can fix that. That's no problem. In most situations, you can't, and you would have to end up taking this all apart, um, which would mean soaking it in acetone um, and everything else. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use the the gel that we painted onto our nails, and we're going to set it up there, and it'll let it soak it in. So we we hold it down so that it, the gravity will do it work, and then we go ahead and we cure it. Um, that's part of the problem that you can also end up with if you use a dark colored gel. So the dark colored gels, when you build them up, you use a poly gel or you use a builder gel. Um, if it's not a clear, you can, um, you can end up having it not cure all the way. So kind of like putting paint onto a wall, um, a big blob of paint, the very center of it is not going to cure because there's no air going to it, the outside cures. Same thing can happen with your dark gels. So we're just gonna go ahead and fix that. It'll only take about 30 seconds. Okay. It's gonna be messy, but that's okay. We wanna, you wanna pull, the, pull this down a bit. So, you know, take your thumb and your finger and allow this to open up so you can really get that down in there. Okay, because you want to make sure, like even get the bristles down in there if you can, um, if this happens, because you want to make sure you feel, fill that up. Otherwise, that's an area for water to get into, um, and you get fungus, which is never good, and then you end up, especially if you don't realize that you have this happening, you can end up with a really bad infection on your nail. You know, to the point of losing, having to have your nail removed until it heals, not being allowed to use any type of nail product on here. Um, but we got that, you see, it's still, but it's filled. So go ahead, open, open and close that up. You see that? Open and closing it up. Um, kind of like to, to suck in it in, okay? You want to have that gel, gel kind of suck into there, and opening and closing it up can, can do that. Now what we'll do is we'll also take some of the acetone and some um, and a brush, okay? Let me just do this real quick. And you just want to wipe up what, what has uh, gone onto the skin. You don't want to cure it to your skin because that just ends up adding to the problem that you already have. So we're just going to clean that up, okay? What are you choking on, puppy? You get too excited? Yeah. <laughs> Silly puppy. Okay. So now you see? It's closed up. You don't see that pocket anymore. Now you can cure it. Okay? Now, if you've done this and you've had this issue, I'm going to stick this in here. You want to keep an eye on it going forward. Okay? You shouldn't fudge with your nails too much. 
but just keep an eye on it because hot water can cause your nails to lift a little quicker. Um, a lot of hand work, if you're, you're doing stuff outside, that can make your nails lift. Um, and if you have your nails lift, you can get away with at least, you could, you could super glue it, but here's the problem with doing a super glue. Um, if you have water stuck into the nail, okay? So you have a lift, and I'll use, I'll use this one as a, an example, this one I painted earlier. Uh, here we go. So you have a lift, okay, and you end up with a pocket. If you super glue it, there's an area that isn't going to be covered with, uh, or isn't going to, to have access to the very tip of the, the super glue, okay? So um, let me use my knuckle here, okay? So if you have a bit of a lift and you get water underneath there from the shower, there's still moisture on your nails. So what you could do is you could put alcohol in there, a non-perfumed alcohol. Oh, hi, okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> um, so what you could do, I know, I usually play games. I, I also, I'm just a variety streamer, so I do both. <laughs> I do games and I do all this other stuff too. Um, so what you could do is, um, you can super glue it, okay? Um, let me see if this will show it a little better. Okay, there we go, that's better. So you could super glue it, but what happens is you have moisture on the main nail. Your nail is going to hold the moisture. So what you do is you put a bit of um, alcohol, rubbing alcohol, but it has to be the non-perfumed alcohol. Um, sometimes the perfumes are in those alcohols. Um, and that'll dry out your nail. Then you can put the super glue on it or the nail glue. Um, another thing you can do is try a little bit of acetone. Again, non-perfume acetone. But the thing is, is that can also eat away from the plastic. Um, so glue is an option. But if you end up putting glue in it, which I've done, you can have a hairline of an area that doesn't have any glue and doesn't, is, is still uh, wet, still has moisture in the nail um, or on the plastic nail or whatever the case may be. So you can probably get away with another few days after you super glue it, but you, you're not gonna wanna leave it that way. You're gonna wanna get in to get it filled or you're, you're gonna wanna soak them off. And the nice thing with this system is it doesn't really take that long. The reason why it's taking so long on the video is because I'm explaining how to do it. Um, what number is this? This is a one. So yes, you can use glue. It's just, you've got to be careful with it and make sure that you try to get as much of the moisture out of your nail bed as possible. Otherwise it's a breeding ground for a fungus and you don't want that. If you go to take your nail off and you have green on your nail, um, leave the nail off and um, put rubbing alcohol on it. And also you can get to the doctor and they can usually give you something for it, which might be uh, um, like a brush on, or they might just tell you, keep it clean. Don't put anything else on it, just keep it clean, okay? So yes, so we got the difference here. We've also cl cleaned that up, so that's nice and filled. I know it's kind of hard to see, um, but that's filled. So, um, yep, we can move on, okay? This brush is gonna be ruined. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this one. And now, because we did this, yes, <laughs> sorry, I know, I keep saying it over and over again, but a lot of people forget that, trapped moisture bad. Um, and that's where most fungal problems happen, trapped moisture, okay? So we're gonna file this over, and this is actually gonna kind of peel because um, it's, it's the gel polish, okay, that's on the top here. We're just gonna finish cleaning up this cuticle here, and that'll also give us an option to, or an, a moment to see that that hole is cleaned up. And um, I know that two of you may not have been here earlier when I had mentioned this, but when you do your filing, 
okay, when you do your nail, you get a new file, always prepare the edge, okay? And in order to pre prepare the edge of your file, get an old file, one that you're about to throw out or you use for something else, and run it along the edge of your nail file. Otherwise, you end up with a cut or worse than this one, okay? I don't know if you can see that cut there. It basically gives you a really bad paper cut. That's no fun. If you, if you prepare the edge of the file, you won't end up with that. And that's just take the old file, run it along the edge of your, your new file, throw out your old file or put it wherever you want to use it, and then you don't have that issue. That's okay. I think it's because I had to put on um, the delay again because I was streaming a game that um, was kind of resource heavy and I guess changing that fixed it. I don't know the technical mumbo for it, but yeah. But that's okay. No problem. Looking good. Okay, and then we just clean up the edge. Okay. And then we'll take this one and we buff it. Okay, and the file I'm using is a 150 file, and a, this is 100. Ah, fluff. 180. Or this is a 150, sorry, I said, I think I said 50. It's 150. Puppy, what you doing, you silly goose? Okay, there we go. So, uh, if you were on, if you're on imagery, did you, did you take part in the, um, upvote everything yesterday. I always find it very hard to upvote everything because some of the stuff on there is just the worst. Okay. And all the shine away. going. We're almost, almost to the fun part where we get to paint our nails. That's my favorite part is the painting. came out on this one because I think I overfilled this one so let's just go ahead and clip the the not your cuticle but the the, the extra gel okay eh. stubborn gel I say stubborn okay Actually, this gel doesn't like to file, it just likes to, to move around. It's kind of funny, but that's all right. I think it's it's not really meant to, to file, really. It's, it's more of a... Uh, it feels like it's just more of a flexible kind of gel for, for putting your the, fake, the false nail on the tip on. Okay. And that one's pretty much clean. Yep, about as clean as I'm gonna get it. And the screen froze. Oh, me too? Or is it just that I, I'm outside of the screen? Oh, your screen froze. Oh, okay. Uh-oh, well, that's no good. That's not what you want. That's okay. It'll get more interesting in a minute once I'm able to start painting. 
Ghost, leave him alone. Okay, and then back to the buffin. And we just do this again to take the shine off. Okay, no shines. And I, sh I uh, file my right hand much differently than I do my left because I am right hand dominant. So uh, I have to figure out whatever way works. Okay. And ta-da, that one's nice and good. Three more to go, and then we can get to the fun part. I think I might do geometric shapes for my nails today, but I'm not 100% sure. ready to drop the mic yet. My goodness, everything's falling. There we go. I think that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay. The puppy keeps on bumping my table. One of these days I will show how to do acrylics, um, especially if you are doing them for yourself. Um, but acrylic stinks and I, um, I don't want to stink up my apartment. Um, and it's not been nice enough for me to really do them outside um, where there's enough ventilation. So we uh, will we'll do them at some point. I have all the stuff to do them. I've been doing mine for years. Um, and in the process of going to back to school to do them. What was that? I can only see part of it. Hold on. Yes, please. Yeah. I will show how to do them. Um, the biggest thing is, is that if you do do acrylics, do not do them on somebody else. As they know for certain uh, that you are, they are not going to sue you for fungus or anything like that, um, unless you are licensed. And even then, it should really be in a, um, within a licensed facility that you're get doing them. Okay, that one has to get redone. But I will show how to do them, um, for yourself. Um, again, if you're a certain hand dominant, your other hand will be better. Why what? Why not do them for other people or why you should do them in a facility? Okay, almost, almost. No, I'm gonna do yours for the wedding, sweetie. I, I mean, duh. But um, the reason why is in the United States, and I think, and almost everywhere, it is um, a really, really, really bad. Almost, I, I think it's illegal, but I don't, I don't think it's illegal to the point where they put you to prison. <laughs> but it's, it's not a good idea to do um, people's nails um, with artificial, like you can paint somebody's nails. 
Um, but it's because there's a lot of health problems that can get caused by somebody not doing nails correctly. Um, either transference of AIDS, okay? Um, because if they're using files and they're not cleaning the files and they cut somebody who has AIDS or some other blood-borne illness um, and they go to do your nails, they can transfer it. Um, fungus, um, which is one. Um, there's there's plenty of different different ways they can cut you which that's not fun either i've been cut by somebody who used a dremel um or a nail file and that's no fun so there's various reasons of why you need to be licensed in order to do it because you learn the techniques and you learn the ways of not hurting somebody um and you're protected basically if you if you work in a in a facility or in a salon you're protected uh they usually have insurance now if you're doing it outside of that outside of an establishment and you're doing it on your own you're not insured you're not protected um so you you need to be careful when it comes to those kinds of things there are ways of doing like somebody's nails at a fair or doing somebody's nails at you know at like um a craft fair or a, an event, but those are licensed. You can't just be a general person on the street who knows how to do nails and to go do that. Good job there, Cass. <laughs> Good job. So the, the reason why you can't go ahead and do just anybody's nails, uh, even though you know how to do them, is there's a lot of different protections um, from hurting somebody, uh, cause you can easily cut someone while you're doing somebody's nails. I cut myself, um, and we've already covered fungus pretty, pretty carefully, but you go through a lot of training to be able to do somebody's nails correctly and not hurt them and not, um, carry illnesses. For instance, there's various rules in different states regarding cleaning bits, Dremel bits, uh, or the e-file bits, cleaning your files, whether it be put into barbicide or um, medical disinfectant. Um, there are different rules. Yes, transfer of bacteria through pedicures, ex exactly. Um, you know, you could have warts, you could have different funguses on your feet, various things, and you don't want to transfer that to somebody else. So even though you know how to do it on yourself, and even though you are sh haven't had that issue for yourself, you don't want to go out and do it on somebody else, um, because there is the possibility that you could end up getting somebody very sick. And the little pinky. The only people that I've ever done the nails on that wasn't me is family. And actually only my baby sister, who is uh, the evil pale angel in the chat. And that's because there is the understanding that she's not going to sue me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to do anybody else's nails. Not until I'm licensed, at least. The other thing is, is there's also certain products that are very harsh. <laughs> Hi! Certain products are very harsh and are only able to be used by professionals. Okay? So... There are certain primers that you can use for a person's nails um, that you need a professional license for. You loved the ghosts? Oh, the ghosts I did for you? Yeah, they were cute. I put little, uh, I put <laughs> the wiggly eyes on them. But yes, there's certain products that are very, very, very harsh. To use um, there's a, a specific nail primer and um, 
prep that will burn your skin, um, chemical burns, etc. So that's the other reason of why you have to have a license because you need to know which ones are, are not, not conducive and how to apply them. Okay, so I think we are all good. Just gotta clean up and then we are good to go. Let me just clean up this edge. Okay. Alrighty. Sweet. Okay, I'm just gonna go wash my hands real quick um, and I will be right back. You will probably see my little puppy uh, run around here because um, I'm just gonna push my, my table back and get a new Oh, um, I will tell you that as soon as I get back, okay? So just give me one second. Okay, hello, I'm back. Alrighty, Oh, you guys are talking, that's so sweet. Okay, um, so you had a great question of why such a primer is necessary. So for some people, um, dependent on their, uh, I don't know what the question, the word is I'm looking for, hold on. Um, dependent on how their, uh, genetic makeup is or what phase of their life they're in whether it be premenopause menopause um, after having a baby during pregnancy any number of those types of situ uh, types of um, genetic or, or physiological changes within a person's life your nail makeup can change as well so those types of primers can be needed for someone who wants to get false nails but it's not sticking and those primers allow for the nail chemistry um, to not reject a false nail so certain types of certain times of a person's life whether it be menopause or after a baby or during a baby um, you will end up with too much oils on your nails or you not enough oil on your nail or any number of issues and that type of strong primer allows you to be able to get false nails and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it won't it won't work no matter what hey i said enough you two stop what date cass is it, you said the second? Yeah, yep. Yeah. There's various ways of trying to make it work, um, but sometimes it just doesn't. You have to, the person has to wait until they are of their makeup, their genetic makeup or their chemical composition of their nail allows them to be able to do that. Okay, so that can move. This is done. Okay, 
So now we are ready for the pretty coloring. I'm going to grab this again. That's good. Don't push it any further because then you run into my cursed uh, wedding date. You don't want you don't want the failed wedding date. Okay. Okay. Get this. So we're also, because I'm all done with all of this, so let me just clean up my mess here. in here. I'm done with these. I'm done with the files. I'm done with the files. I'm done with those. I'm those. I'm done with these. Oh, I gotta clean up as I go. All right. Let's move this over. Let's see. Okay, cool. Got this. Now, one of the things that I like to use is we're going to be doing some nail art. Okay? This is parchment paper. Just regular baking parchment paper. There's colleges available for cosmetology school. Ah! Uh, well, if you want to go to full cosmetology school where you learn makeup, hair, nails, um, you can usually find either scholarships, uh, Pell grants, uh, state grants. But accursed red enemies? Oh, oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Um, interesting. So, anyway, um, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can get, uh, state grants, uh, state, uh, federal grants if you haven't gone to school or you're eligible for them. So that's the FAFSA or, uh, whatever your state equivalent, um, is. So you can look those up. If you want to go just for a specific area of, cosmetology like me I'm going to school for nail tech um, so that I, all I have I get to do is basically pedicures and, and manicures um, that one I don't haven't found any scholarships for right I know I'm I'm kind of confused too what what is a cursed red enemy commies <laughs> And uh, this is baking parchment. So this, we're gonna put some of the, the nail, the, the gel nail polish on for when I go to do my nail art. Commies, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, the red tide. The system that I'm using for the color is um, Beetles. Now, well, can you see that? Yeah. So Beetles, this this set is on Amazon. Um, they're kind of tiny, but I mean, that's still a lot. Are you a birthing person after school? Oh, 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 I get it, yep. Uh, after school, if you've watched IT, that's what she's talking about. You remember when she's talking about her monthly? The red tide? Okay, so for this, we're going to need to put the base gel on first. And the curing time is... 90 seconds. 
Are you a woman? <laughs> That's what she's asking. Are you a woman? Wait, what was that, Val? The Red Tide? Have you watched the IT crowd? Cass, or no? Or what are you asking me? Okay, so this is 90 seconds. This has to hold on. Okay, now, again, I don't know if you saw this earlier. Now, when you go to put your nail polish on, okay, I'm trying to get this in the way. So, instead of going directly to the cuticle, you're going to go up a little bit and then push back, okay? That way you don't flood your cuticle, because you don't want to flood the cuticle with whatever polish. That's how you, that's why you end up usually having to go back through your nails and cleaning them up, which is no problem, but um, if you don't want the cuticle to be overly flooded, you just want to uh, start up a little bit, push back towards the cuticle, and then forward. Very intrigued by which guy? By, by evil? Evil pale angel? That's my little sister. Oh, you're a guy, but you're very intrigued in this. I'm sorry. The thing, like, my, my chat got covered up. Okay. You're very intrigued by this. Well, there you go. Okay. So, again, you want to start up here. Actually, it's got a little flooded. Step, start up here, push back a little bit towards the cuticle, and then forward. Okay, we're just gonna cover up the nail. And this is just a base coat so that um, we can get the, the main color on, okay? <laughs> Yerp. Alrighty. So we're just going to cover all of these with base coat. Okay. And I hunted around everywhere for this damn emerald green because I really wanted to do emerald green. And nobody had it. Nobody. Now one of the things about gel polish, which is great, is it's quick. Okay? Um, you just have to paint it on, put it into the, the, the little light for as long as it needs to be, and it's basically done. If you excuse me if you try to uh, if you try to do nail polish just regular nail polish um it doesn't it doesn't dry as quick as gel so say you need to get up to feed somebody like get food for somebody or walk the damn dog or you have to pee because you have a tiny bladder you have to wait until your nails are dry unless you want them to mess up or I usually end up doing my nails close to bedtime um, because it's like, oh, okay, I want to do these and then I just want to go relax. And it's usually at the end of my day where everything is um, almost done for the day. So I, you know, I wait until late at night to do them. But if I do it with non-gel nail polish and I just do regular nail polish, when I go to bed and I hold my sheets, it is, it is, it's, uh, it's actually a growing profession. Um, it's there, uh, I can't remember how much they were telling me it was plant. It was about to be per year 
36k, I think, which is more than I've ever made a year. Um, but it is. It's a good profession. You can make your own salon. You can usually go anywhere with it. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, so gel nail polish I prefer because I grab my sheets when I sleep. And if I used regular nail polish, it always ended up leaving the sheet pattern, the, the weft in my nails, and I hated it. It wasn't, it wasn't nice and smooth. Okay, so this is the base coat. And we're gonna do the left hand first, get that all nice and done, and then we'll do the right hand. So let me close up the gel. And I think we're gonna do some geometric shapes, which means I am going to need my nail art brushes. Uh, okay. Eh. All right. Aren't these pretty? They're all like, they're, they've got little flowers on them. I like them. Okay. Um. <laughs> yep, exactly, yep. I used a, um, I used to do construction with my dad when I was younger. And uh, we did a lot of painting, deck work, power washing. So when it comes to that kind of stuff, that's the easiest way that I can end up putting it. Okay, so we are going to do some fun little shapes and I think we're going to start with this green because this is the one I've been hunting for um okay so this is the other thing when it comes to gel polish okay gel polish you roll in your hand okay you don't shake you roll it in your hand regular nail polish you can shake there's the little balls inside them and you can shake it gel nail polish is more it's, it's thicker than regular nail polish. So if you shake it, you're going to end up with air bubbles. And when you go to paint it onto your nails, those air bubbles are going to come with it. It's like working with resin. You don't want to shake it. You just want to, to mix it up enough so that any type of pigment difference is in there. But you don't want to, you don't want to put to make air bubbles inside it. So gel, you roll in your hands. And regular nail polish, you shake. Okay. Oh, it's such a pretty green. I don't know if you can see it yet. I'll show you in just a second because I d couldn't figure out how to get my camera to zoom because it's a damn webcam. If I had my DSLR camera like set up properly, I could do that, but I don't have a capture card. The whole shebang. Yeah, I know. I did too for a little while. It's fun. I like it. I want to build my own house eventually. So that's good and clean. Now what we could do, because I got a little bit on the edge, um, we can first darn it. Thank you. I looked everywhere for this darn color. And I'm going to make it matte because um, I like that flat look. Okay. So just clean up that edge. Okay. We're going to probably put two coats on this. Um, so I'm thinking we're not going to cure it yet because it doesn't need to be cured. I mean, it's still wet. We could still mess with it and mess it up. Um, but I want to cure all of them together. That way, if I decide to change anything, I can just wipe it off, put another base coat on and go about my day. Um, and then, you know, cure it. But for right now, I want to, I want to see what else I want to do. Yes, I love the matte finish. And then I'm thinking I'm going to put either this blue 
I, I'm, I'm going to make some shapes. I want geometric shapes, I think. Um, and some of the shapes, either the black or the blue, is going to be uh, shiny. So we're going to do this ultramarine color next. It's like a nice blue. It, it doesn't have the... The color is a little different in the camera. <laughs> so we're going to see how that comes out. Okay. And then these are also cure for 90, I believe. Yep. Okay. Ah. So again, up higher, oh, sorry, up higher than where your nail is, so you can see that here, right? Up higher than where the cuticle is, and then you push the brush backwards. Well, thank you. I know I didn't have a choice to, but I like doing it. Okay, there we go. Nice blue you know what's funny is these weren't even the longest nails that I could have gotten they've got really long ones I didn't want to go with the really long ones because I would end up poking either my eye out or my puppy's eye out and he already he gets poked enough Oh, that is a nice blue. So there's going to be... Oh, I've done that too, Cass. Yeah, we've both done that. Oh, that blue is not coming out quite the way it should. You always have to clean around the skin. So that's fine. That is absolutely fine. You know, sometimes I have to too. Gel nail polish, so much easier to, to clean around the skin with. That's one of the other reasons why I love to use gel nail polish. And doing the starting up high, okay? So starting up in this area here, right? And then pushing the nail, the, um, the paint back. So you know when you go to cut in the, like a wall, okay like in the corner of the wall you put your print paintbrush down right you put it down onto the surface that you're trying to paint and you just slightly move it up to the corner that is the same thing that you're doing when you go to do your nail here okay so you take that that paintbrush with your your paint when you're cutting around the edges of the ceiling and the wall you just take that paintbrush and you slightly move it up into the the crack right and then you cut around same thing here <laughs> Cass you're telling somebody that's his job that he needs to work on his wall cutting skills oh go cause a fight in my chat aren't you okay so we're gonna cure these I'm gonna cure these and then do another coat on them because I wanna I wanna finish those. It is easier on a wall. It is. <laughs> no fighting in my chat. She's a smart ass, yeah. I wonder who she gets it from. Okay, so we're gonna put another coat on these, okay? And then I'm gonna try a design on these. So these are cured now. So they're, they're, I can't change those colors, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put another 
<laughs> another coat of blue. Okay. And pull it out. You are smart ass. Oh, this blue is so pretty. I love it. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, got that nice, nice blue. <sighs> Lots of who's on. Yeah, I suppose. Puppy doesn't know what to do with himself. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got those two. I'm gonna cure these again. Thank you, Dobbs. Um, I'm gonna cure these again, and then I'm gonna try the two designs that I want to do. So I'm thinking of uh, geometric, okay? So what we're gonna do is cure these. And I'm, what I'm thinking is doing a blue kind of tip there and a green one here. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. How you doing, Dobbs? I, it's a different stream for me today. <laughs> Oh, also, if you're in the chat, um, if you um, you just got your nails done, awesome. I love doing my nails. I usually do acrylic, but this is a new system um, that I wanted to try, and it's it's pretty nice. It's easy to do, doesn't stink. <laughs> um, even for the price, I have 12 changes of nails that I can do, so pretty good system. Oh, you got S and S done? Nice. I haven't done that one yet, cause I like my nails really, really long, so I haven't gotten it done. The dipping stuff, yeah. Could I airbrush the colors to kind of feather the color? Yes, yes, I could. I could. The ni that's one of the nice things with um, gel is that as long you can put your colors down. Um, <clears throat> and then you can, like an ombre look? Yeah, I can give that a go. Let's try it. I haven't done ombre, but let's go ahead and do it. You got the extensions done, and then you keep letting them grow. That's awesome. Hmm. That one looked weird. Anyway, okay. So I haven't done an ombre before, so we can give that a go. Um... I'm going to see if I can actually get this down closer so that y'all can see what I'm doing down here. Not my chest. Aw, thank you. I used to I used to do some crazy stuff with long nails. I helped my dad work on a car with long nails. I've I've done some stuff. And I didn't break any. I broke it when I went inside and closed a book. <laughs> No, don't. There we go. Okay, so you want me to do something like a feather um, on here. So I've never done that, but you know what? I, I'm not afraid to try. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use the uh, baking paper. And the reason why we use the, we're gonna use the baking paper is when we put the gel on here, it's not gonna stick and seep in. Okay, and we've got all these nice little brushes that'll help out. So let's try it. Um, this is the content you never knew you needed. Oh, see, this is what this. 
I, I like to do this kind of stuff. I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to do a crocheting um, one, and we're going to make Pikachu. So we're going we're gonna to try to do that, since I have a pattern and I crochet a lot. It's, yeah, it's hard when you have contact lenses. It's the easy way to put a hole in them. Okay, so uh, do we want to do a ombre with stabbing your eyes is not enjoyable? So the reason why I like to do long nails is I have short fingers. Get them fancy tweezers. So the reason why I like to do long nails is I have short stubby fingers. Like they're kind of fat fingers. They're small hands, but um, Angel can tell you because that's my younger sister. I I'm I have one of the larger hands, like the chubbier hands in my. Thanks, thanks, Tom's. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, the Angel will tell you I have the chubbier hands in my family, and the long nails actually. <laughs> actually make my finger look longer okay so do you want me to do it with the dark green and blue to do the ombre or do you want me to try it with this pale you have nubby hands yeah do you want me to try it with this pale blue these are the questions I am asking pale blue okay yeah let's give it a go we'll try it on both of them So we're going to put the blue onto this parchment paper, okay, onto this baking paper. And uh, that way we can use one of the, the um, other brushes to, to really pick it up and do this. So we're actually going to use, I think, this brush here, okay, see this flat brush? I don't know if you can really see that. Put it over top of my fingers. Okay, so we're gonna use this one. And that, that'll allow us to really, cause they also paint, so like paint pictures and stuff. So I'm thinking that's gonna allow us to really, really get that, okay? So we will try it on this blue one here first, okay? Actually, let me do do just a bit here like this, and then we'll pull it back. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we'll just use this brush and we'll just pull it back. Okay. Ugh. Need to get another lamp in here. working because I want the top to be nice and and uh, light blue and then just kind of gets into this there we go that looks good okay Can you tell, can you see that? It's a nice little ombre there. No, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wonder how it's gonna look when I get that mat on it, you know? Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit more here. Try to get it down in here a bit, right? Just so it's, in different areas it's a little thicker we'll pull it up okay try to make sure that I don't have too many little brushy looks right 
nice part of this is it has a sticky top coat so it allows the brush to the color to stick but also not too heavily okay so there we go okay and what we'll do is we'll also cover that up okay we're gonna put this here we're gonna take this one I think this might look pretty good too if we go ahead and put little white dots on it like it's a night sky okay and that will also help up cover any like areas that I can't blend very well um, because it does have that sticky top coat so we're gonna go ahead and even though we we didn't cure this yet we're gonna go ahead and just go up put this right in there and uh, it'll kind of meld into each other okay I actually got these little brushes from Sally's Beauty uh, Supply which is sometimes hit or miss when you go to pick up stuff. gonna go ahead and just tap that in a little so they're not they're not super um, seeable you know you don't want them too visible oh that one wiped it off a little so we'll just go like this for a second just to make sure that it's nice and there we go there we go that doesn't look too bad what do y'all think was a little too big. Okay, go ahead and nuke it. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you, thank you. I think I'm going to do the dark blue on the one that had the green. <laughs> Thanks. another nice green one you know what actually what I could do I'm trying to think um, let me see what color I have ah. hmm no that'll look like Barney and I don't want to look like Barney okay so we're gonna do the the blue one. Okay. So let's do this dark blue on on the green one. Okay. And then we'll put a we'll put a coat of the matte on it and see what that looks like. And then we'll continue on to the other nails. Okay. So for this one, I think I want to go. I'm not sure. Let's just let's just jump in. Okay. I don't 
don't know if that's really coming out with that. Nope, that's not. Okay, hold on. do with this yellow. I don't know how well it'll show up because sometimes the yellows don't show up very well, especially if you have a dark coat underneath. of it down. Yellow! Yeah, I know! <laughs> okay, let's try to pull some of it down. So we might have to do multiple coats of the yellow in order to, for it to really show, but we can go ahead and pull, pull the color down with this uh, finer brush. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead. <sighs> also, I'm sorry if you can hear snoring in the background. My, my boyfriend is asleep. <laughs> so occasionally, you can hear the snoring. Nuke it! Yes, exactly! Nuke it! <laughs> it's what we do here we nuke our fingernails okay and I'm not gonna nuke it for the whole time because I want to see if I can get this oop, if I can get this yellow a little darker I mean I like it like this right got the dark green here yeah I know I'm sorry I can't I can't make it not pick that up I've tried I could close his room, but then the AC doesn't go in there. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to put some more yellow on it. There we go. We'll go ahead and drag that down again. Usually I have enough like going on in the background where you don't hear it, but because I'm doing nails and it's just me talking, it's I don't have nearly enough going on in the background for it. And this is why he has his own room and I have my own room. Otherwise I would never sleep. Okay. Alrighty, that actually, that, that's another one that looks pretty cool. You know what this actually, this color, this, this reminds me of? Melting crayons. Okay, nuke it again. Back into the nuke box. Let's see if I can fix this in a way where it's easier to see. I'm going to put a command in the chat real quick so that if you want to join the discord you can um it is there you go so if you want to join the discord we have multiple channels um just follow that link and that should bring you right into the the uh, discord 
that I've made for the channel. Okay, so we've got this, these two fancy ones right here. Now, uh, what shall we do next? <laughs> um, so we can do, you know what? I have a really dark blue, we can do that too. I like going crazy with my nails. I don't, I don't, I don't like it to be boring. Oh yeah, we were gonna put some matte on top of this to, to see how it looks. Okay, let me see what I got here. That's the matte top coat. Okay. Eh. All right. So let's get some of this on here. I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of doing it like away from the camera, but it's the only way I can see. Okay. You're really feeling the blue one? I know, I really like it too. Okay, let's go ahead and nuke it again. I, I'm really liking the blue. I can't wait to, I want to see what it looks like with the matte on it. The matte is going to, I love the matte color. Like my lipstick, I even do matte. I don't like glossy colors. Even though I have gloss, but I mean, if the gloss is accent, that's kind of fun, but I'm, oh, I'm into, I'm more of the just plain Jane matte. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I reset it. Oh, you ready? You did them blue? There we go, that's what they look like matte. I know it's kind of hard to see. It looks kind of cool. I like it with the matte. I need to get back on the cuticles a little bit. Since the before times, I know it was. I haven't worn makeup since the pandemic hit. But yeah, look at that. It looks so good, I know. It does, okay. So let's do, um, we'll do this one just a uh, blue, just blue, and we'll do this one just green. Yeah, the do it does, it does look really good. I want to do, I wanna do two that aren't, that aren't patterned. Um, so we'll do that on these two, and then we'll do another pattern on this one. Um, I'm thinking we're going to do really dark blue. Uh, did I grab that? I might not have. No, I did. Okay. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll, we'll try to do another one of these feathery type of ones. Okay. We'll do it with a really dark blue, which almost looks black, but I promise that's blue. Um, we'll do it with this aquamarine type of blue and then we'll do it. We'll follow it up with the pale blue. Oh, and you can't see cause of the camera. Okay. But we're gonna do these two um, just plain and with the mat. And then um, we might put some geometric shape. I'm not sure quite yet, but let's go ahead and just get the, the plain color on. into that cuticle area and around the sides. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to get a webcam lamp. You know, one of those those big round ones. Nothing for any, not for anything fancy. Just so that I can see. It's hard being blind. Okay. So there's that one, and we're gonna get the green. Okay, and we're just gonna do the pointer green. to get a white noise machine my goodness okay it has music playing but um i the the app that i use for the music that gives me um copyright free music it just it's kind of being buggy today and won't play so maybe later but right now it's not okay so let's go ahead and put those in here What color blue uh, cast did you do? Just a just a this a similar blue or do 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 do. Go ahead and put some more on here. Um, so there's also other ways that you can do your nails like this. Now, if you're somebody who's mostly right hand dominant and you want to do really cool patterns on your right hand, there are other ways to do it. They're tricky in the sense of it's hard to do the pattern on your nail and then do this system. But you can. You can do all of the art on the nail before you go ahead and put it onto your actual nail. You can do it the same way that we did these with the gel on the bottom um, and pressing them on and curing them. The tricky part about doing it that way though um, is that if you paint them with something dark, it's not going to cure right. So one of the better ways is usually to do it with acrylic. But acrylic sets really quick unless you use slow acrylic um, or slow cure acrylic. But those are options. Or you go somewhere and get them to do it for you. But then you have to pay buco bucks to do so. Now, did I, I didn't cure this top coat, did I? Or this coat? No, you know what? I don't think I did. So let's try this. Let's go crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna put a decent, decent amount on the nail. I'm gonna do that again with this nail. All right, yeah, get a good, good amount on there. Not too thick, because you want it to still be able to cure, but let's go ahead, move that back, move that back, and put this here. All right, so we're gonna do the blue. Oh yeah, and the green, because the the ones I the what I've already put down probably cured from the lamp, but got that. Then, we're going to make sure to see if this, is it usable? It is usable. Okay, hold on. Buco bucks, yes. Lots of money. It's something my parents used to say a lot. Okay, so. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> I touched I touched the other hand with this, so now it's on my fingers. Ah, ew. That's okay, it'll wash off. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay. So, eh. ah. now, these are not cured. They're still very wet. What I'm thinking about is I'm gonna use this blue here, right? Get a good, good bit onto the brush. And I'm so sorry, I know it's hard to see. Um, I have a better camera, it's just, it didn't, I don't have the card for it. So this is a green nail, okay? We're going to use this with the blue and swirl it into the wet gel, wet, wet green gel, and that'll leave swirl patterns, hopefully. All right, so let's give it a go. Yeah, boy. Okay. I don't know if you can see. Uh, you can kind of see. Hold on. Kind of, not very well. I should, I should, hold on. Oh God. There we go. You can see now. Okay, so we're just doing that on this one and the other one. We're actually going to do it with the white as well, but I'm first getting this blue all nice up in there. So let's get some white in there. We'll, we should be able to see that better. Okay. What's up with the boots on your feet? Okay. So you see? Got some nice little swirlies going on in there. Okay. Take some of the green, so a swirl from the green and through it. And we just keep doing that until we're happy with it. Okay. We can put some of the light blue in there too. We'll do that up at the top. it's a little hard to see we got some light blue up here okay I'm gonna put some more in and because it's still wet it, it blends in pretty well it kind of starts to spider web out um really yeah uh, Yeah, um, I know it's, I'm, I'm sorry, it's so hard to see. You know what, let me see if I can fix that. One second, let me grab a, another lamp.
Oh god, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I almost tripped. Okay, now that should be better, although I'm blinding myself a little. I know it's a little harsh on the webcam too. I'm doing the best I can. Oh no! Ink overboard. Okay. Puppy, what do you want, honey? What do you want? Okay. Well, if you could stop making a mess, that would be great, buddy. Okay, come on. Good boy. Thank you. <sighs> Okay, so you should be able to see a little bit better now. Loki comes to mind? Yeah, kind of. Okay, so I got the other, key, the other lamp here. It's sort of helping, but it's also not. So, now, wait for this to get back. We're gonna do something similar to this nail, okay? But we're gonna go in with the green instead of the blue. So the base on this one is blue, but the lines are gonna be the green, okay? Doesn't look too bad, I like it. Maybe I'll do geode nodes, like geode nails um, another time, which will look really cool. Because I do have some like gold um, flakes and stuff like that. So let's get some white up in here. Okay. And light blue. Now, we go ahead and we just try to blend all this kind of into each other. Okay. Let's get more blue in there. Okay. So we've got those two, and those will look pretty cool when we go ahead and put the, um, the mat on top of it. I'm going to add a little bit more white up here. Okay. Now one of the cool things that you could also do is you can take alcohol and kind of like drop it on the nail, and that, that makes a cool effect as well. I just realized my white is kind of like fell over, so I just want to go ahead and fix that real quick. Okay, so we give this a nice few seconds, and um, I wish the yellow had more pigment in it. I have pigment that I can add to it, but it also it can change the the makeup of the nail polish to where it won't cure correctly um so it could either flake it could just not cure at all the re <laughs> it's really growing on you now well that's good it reminds me of um it reminds me of oz of like the wizard of oz i don't know why but it does and a little bit of uh, Loki, because Loki has those like gold horns. Okay, so those are done. We just need to put the matte coat on top of it. Okay, so that should, that should help some of it pop out. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. 
Yeah. Yep. I do have alcohol um, pigment for resin, um, but I just I don't know. It's the first time I'm I'm doing this type of nail tip. I just didn't want to mess with it too much. I might. Um, I have some other ones that are more for me to practice doing like art on, and I might give that a go on those, but for now I'm kind of happy with what I got going on here. Okay, so put a, a coat of matte on it and we're gonna, we're gonna set that in here. Wish these didn't take so long to cure then you guys wouldn't have to you'd be able to hear me talk and not um all the other background <laughs> and ta-da Okay. Wow, those look really cool. I like them. Okay, so what should we do with the thumb? Uh, let's do... I don't know. Let's do... The... You know what? We're going to do it this way. Okay, so we're going to do some blue... Okay, some of the blue. Yeah, blue at the bottom. All right. Thank goodness we went with pink. Yeah, well, thank you. Okay, and then we're going to do the green. Okay, we're not going to cure it. We're just going to go ahead with the green. Now, this could mess up my green, and if it does, not the end of the world. But we're going to go right in with the green. Okay. pretty good. Okay, we're going to take my, oh boy, we're going to take this one, just clean it off a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're just going to swish it around on here. Okay. Swishy, swish, swish, swish. And we're going to do a second coat like this too, but this is just to mix it, okay? So we've got the blue and we've got the green. Blue, green. And these bottles are really small. It's not my hands are gigantic. <laughs> Just let that go for a few seconds. Okay, so you can kind of see the two-tone. All right, so let's go ahead and do that again. So blue. Nuke it, yes! <laughs> okay. 
Go ahead and do the blue again. We're going to go up a little higher with the blue. Okay. And then we get the green. Ah! Oh no! Oh well. Ugh, damn neighbors. Okay. You thought I had giant hands? I don't have tiny hands. My hands are super small. Okay, and then we go ahead and we just mix this right in again. Put a little bit of the, the slight blue in here too, just to give it a little bit bit of something. Okay. I'm only like five three. If I had giant hands, it would be a problem. Okay. So we now will take. Um, we'll take this one. Yeah, we'll take this one. Okay, I'll just go ahead and feather it through. Looks good. No get. Nuke. Nuka Cola. I burnt my mouth yesterday, and it's driving me nuts today. Because it's the very back of my mouth. Okay, so now, okay, I don't know if you can see. There you go. Okay, so you can kind of see that it's like, um, I'm trying to cover it from the lamp. We got a green to blue. And that'll look pretty cool. Nuka, Nuka Cola, yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put the MAC top coat on it. Ouch, the bright light, I know, I'm sorry. You see a bright light? Run away. Okay. So we got the top coat on it now. Nice matte top coat. Nuke it again. If I ever end up with like hand cancer, I'll know why. But I think it's like pretty, pretty hard to do so with a, a little lamp like this. Oh, ouch to burning my mouth. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, um, I had, uh, I reheated some hibachi that I had gotten from the other day and, uh, from the day before and I reheated it too much and it burnt my mouth. So that was fun. 